Whoops. Whoop. <laughs> Whose story are we finishing? Welcome, folks. Happy Sunday, fun day. Welcome to Boomtown. Welcome to the Scotty Blade Show. The Blade Beacon is up. The bonfire is lit. Adventure and escapism await. Cody Rhodes? Oh, yeah. I saw that he got his butt kicked or whatever. But that was just day one, right? I wish I liked wrestling. I used to. I grew out of it. And not grew out of it in the sense that you can grow out of stuff like that. I just uh, lost interest in it. Never got back into it. Used to. Collected all the figures. Had all the Attitude Era figures. Had Mankind and I had all of them. I had NWO, The Wolfpack, Kevin Nash, Scott Hall, Randy Macho Man Savage, Hulk Hogan. Uh, and then, of course, that was WCW. Then WWF was like Stone Cold Steve Austin and The Rock and Mankind. And Yeah, I, I had all those figures back in the day. Goldberg, I think I told you guys before. I, I stopped watching after Goldberg lost. I think I lost faith in humanity. And I lost, I lost faith in heroes when Goldberg's winning streak got snapped. You can't beat Goldberg. He's the beast. He got beat, so I beat feet out of there. We got a couple of new games tonight. A couple of new scary games. And then we got a new new scary game. Which is a Metroidvania side scrolling scary game. And it's called Withering Rooms. And I have no idea why more people aren't talking about that game. Because it looks incredible. The graphics are fantastic. The combat looks unique and fun. The monsters are very much old school survival horror. I guess because it's a 2D side scrolling adventure that not more people are talking about it, I guess. And maybe because also it's pretty expensive for a indie game. It's 30 bucks. So maybe that's why more folks ain't talking about it. But it was on my radar. It came out. It got great reviews. It looks like a lot of fun. And we're going to premiere it here tonight. We are going to give it a trial by Blades. We are going to slay, and we are going to play, and we are going to look good all day long, sweet Susie. Of course, if you guys want to support the broadcast and make sure that we keep bringing this kind of content to you all every single day, Super Chats and becoming a member is how to ensure that this show and this escape and this adventure never goes away. Hello, Michelle. There's a cool sitcom called The Goldbergs, but I haven't seen a minute yet. Hey, Alan. Roman versus Cody for the title starting right now. Cool. Hello, Christian. Hello, Cooter. Hello, Brenda. Hello, Parker. Hello, Foopy. Hello, Melton. What's up, Alicia? Welcome, Kenneth. Welcome, Mark. Hello, Justin. Austin. Seven dollars from Jared Magic Man Johnson. It's very important that we don't go into battle stiff. We gotta make sure we're limber. It's one of the rules, man. You don't want to pull a hammy or pop a vessel or pinch a nerve. How do you do that? Movement. Thanks for making this move there, Jared. Thank you for the first super chat of the night. Jared Magic Man Johnson. Thank you so much, my friend, for the first super chat of the night. Samuel Norse with the gifted membership. Let us welcome to the Hall of Heroes, Davis Morgan, the perfect half. Thank you so much, Samuel. For being somebody else's hero, buddy. Thanks for being a hero in the community and bringing on a new Blade Master. Eagles fly. Fill the skies. Block out the sun with a little bit of justice. Thank you so much, Samuel. Let's fire up the broadcast. Let's fire up our first game of the night.
Hello, Misty. Good job, Sam. This game, uh, I think I had to zoom in the big screen the last time that we did this, so I need to readjust my screen. Let me readjust my screen. Capture, fit, transform. Love it. There it is. That's what you like to see. This game is called He is Thirsty for Blood. What kind of blood? We don't know yet. Who is it? We don't know yet. What we do know is that anybody tries to touch one of us, we'll split them in half. Face to base and everything in between. Let's do it. Also, they're trying to go for what looks like a 616 game style. The cover screen was a VHS. I was going to say, there's no audio. There's the audio. This laundromat is open 24-7. Nothing good ever happens in a laundromat late at night. Except, I guess, laundry. And the door didn't work. Hi, I come to leave clothes. Who am I talking to? There's nobody here. Ding dong. Ding dong. Is somebody here? No. Guess I'll wait a while. You do that, champ. You know what's sad? This is a new game from a new developer, but we've been in this exact same laundromat, I don't know, 11 times now. I think I'll go in and see for somebody else inside. You do that, champ. You break in. He did it. Hello! I like how the doors don't work. You just walk through them. Just like I do in real life. I just walk through them. Uh-oh. The manager is either taking a nap, crapped himself so hard, following a number three from Taco Bell to where he got a case of the taco smells, or he dead. From nefarious activities. I have to go right now. You don't have to do anything. Hey, Jen. Yeah, he crapped himself. I'll remember you. I'll tell your story. I will let people know that you died beside the power soap socks box. What the whisker biscuits? Fearscape presents. Hello, Heather. You saw the new Godzilla movie this weekend? You enjoyed it? I wanted to go see Monkey Man, and I ended up buying a new shirt yesterday. It's Bigfoot carrying a six-pack. I went to a, a park yesterday, Saturday, I guess it was. The definition of insanity is continuing to play indie horror games and thinking they're going to be anything besides absolute horse shit. <laughs> I went to a park Saturday and uh, is Monkey Man real? Oh, he's real. And he kicks a lot of butt and he's awesome. I didn't go chance to see go see it. Anyway, Saturday I went to a park and then I went to a bunch of breweries Saturday night. First time I drank in a long time and it was a lot of fun. And then uh, today I also went for a long scenic hike we insane here? We're not going to be. I spent 30 bucks on a AAA horror game. We'll be playing that in a little bit. I just thought that I would uh, do a little bit of both. Sprinkle a little bit of what people want, a little bit of what Papa wants. And together, we'll make a peanut butter and blade sandwich. Yeah, you're dead. Gotta go. Maybe I took too long. That's why the game... Fearscape presents. Hello, Natalie. Such a sick background. Oh, yeah. I can't remember what his real name is. I know his his tribal name is Horalu, which is a really cool tribal name, but was it Godfrey? Was it Godwin? Was it Galdrick? There were so many G names. You can hide under the bed. Hey, Summer Scout. You can hide under the bed in important moments. You can run with shift, or you can use La Bumba. Hey, Commander. I think the camera's drunk. 
<laughs> what a good memory. It was very fun. The memory about the guy that was dead in the laundry room at? Ha 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 ha! Are you going to work tomorrow? Oh yeah. Oh yeah! I have to go. My wife is waiting for me at home. That was... See ya. Ooh. Hey, man. I know that we do this little segment on this channel called Trial by Blades, and we put these indie games to the test. So, if you're watching Developer, I just want you to know, you're better than me. I can't even make video games. I'm not good with computers. I don't care about technology. It doesn't matter to me. I have big muscles, thick beard, small brain, giant wiener. I'm just here to smash, baby. That's what I do. Scotty Smash Blades. You're better than me. You can make video games. I can't. But I got to tell you, so far, this is a royal shit fest. <laughs> ah, let's see here. But just take pride in knowing that you're still better than me because I can't make video games. But so far, nobody has done anything, and the one character who did move was just a, a T-motion character that got picked up and turned and moved and left. Exit stage left. Hey, Ted. That baby's like... I don't want any boob right now. I don't need it. I don't want the boob, and I don't need the boob. Ow. That door's an Audi, not an any. Hello, Andrea. Ring-a-ling-a-ding-dong. Hey. Is that my gun safe? There's no guns in it. And I don't feel very safe right now. Here's my giant vibrator that I left sitting on the bed for some reason. I did date a girl one time. We only went on two dates. I hope she's not watching. I did date a girl one time, and I don't know if she didn't expect me to come over, or maybe she didn't care. But uh, I asked to use her bathroom, and I went into her bathroom, and her shower had a whole lot of suction cup appendages attached to it in about four different directions. <laughs> which made that pee very awkward. <laughs> I couldn't imagine if I had to take a dookie how awkward it would have been. Anyway, what's this thing? Okay, I can't touch it. Ow! These doors have got to... Uh-oh. Is this the Shower of Legend? What am I doing? The game didn't say to take a shower! When did the game say anything about showers? It didn't. I just had a dirty thought, so I guess I need to clean up. Dirty thoughts, dirty thoughts. I'll do my best thinking in the shower. Oh, that was very good. Man, I say that every time I get out of the shower. Ooh. Ooh. I'll watch television. Ooh, that was good. Ooh. Man, I feel refreshed. Ooh. Ooh, that dripped everywhere that it needed to drip. Ooh. <laughs> what is this thing on my bed? And why is he not talking about it? Is that what's making the vibrating noise? I just love it when them cars come around the track. And I feel the vibrations in my seat. You can name that movie. You're my best friend. Where's the TV at? Oh. Pathetic. But acceptable. Channel 7. A killer in the city. Channel 7 says protect yourself from everybody. Don't trust anyone. 23 murders and then the word brutally is not captured inside of the screen. Are you guys writing this down? 
He calls himself the Bloody Visit. Who? Who will call? Who? Who will call? Who? Who will? Who will call? I'll find you. Long dong's livers. What is so funny? <laughs> that was very strange. Who will call? I will continue to watch TV. Who will call? I will continue to watch TV. That vibration's got to stop. <laughs> Channel 7, a killer in the city. Protect yourself from everybody. Gotta hydrate because I gotta run from the killer. 23 murders brutally murdered. They'll be all right. He calls himself the bloody visit. They'll be all right. I can't even watch television in peace, even though the television said to watch out for the bloody visit murderer who's killed 23 people and there's somebody knocking on my door at night come in nobody some kids are probably playing a prank on me like always you kids better watch out i'll go <laughs> first blurb of the night coming in from Samuel Norse. Hey, Scotty, Thomas turned seven today and wanted to see if he could get a happy birthday. I would love nothing more than to sing you a happy birthday, Thomas. Thomas, are you ready, my friend? My hero, my little buddy, my little pal? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Dearest, my best little pal, my little hero, Thomas. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, little buddy. He's squealing? That's good. Happy birthday. Happy, happy birthday. I think you're pretty great. Happy, happy birthday. Something that rhymes with great. Happy, happy birthday. Time for me to cook. Happy, happy birthday. Uh, the infamous bad guy from Peter Pan, Captain Hook. Time to cook. You're very welcome. I'm frying some eggs. Happy birthday, Thomas, Scotty, and everybody. Somebody the other day sent me a $20 super chat saying happy birthday, buddy, and it wasn't my birthday. <laughs> Let's see how good the food turned out. Probably sucked, especially when you looks like that. What is that? That's, that's either a wad of dough with two meatballs stuck inside of it. Oh, boy. Can I eat it? I'm trying. It's pretty good. I got it, slurped it up in one bite. I'll go throw out the trash. You do that. Betty Justice! I have no idea why the alert didn't pop up, but I see tribute. Tribute! Tribute from Mama Justice! And tribute for a good cause. For the League of Blaze. Thank you for supporting this group of heroes. Tribute! I don't, know, I don't I have no idea why the alert system just picks and chooses which alerts go off and which ones don't. But we see them. And we love you for them. Thank you, Mama Justice. Yes. Yes. Tribute! Excellent. Do I have more trash to take out? Mm, I guess that's it. How come it played his alert, not Betty's? I don't know. 
five dollars from your dirty thoughts. Happy birthday, Scotty. Thank you. <laughs> Tribute. Tribute. From the Blade Master, your dirty thoughts. The record holder for most gifted memberships. Hang on, the phone's ringing. Scotty Bebop Blades, you want the rhymes? I got the times. That sounds like a gun. The Strager says, let's... <laughs> Bro. Stop. Bro. The Strager wants to have fun. Stop bothering me, bro. Stop bothering me, Strager. Mama Justice putting some people through training. Through the Kumate. Through Blade Fu. Bringing on five new members. Melissa Lynn. A guy's name I can't pronounce. Harmony. Shane Elwood. And Michelle Bourdois. Are being brought on board along with Carl Murray. Thanks to Mama Justice and your dirty thought. Thank you guys. I thought she said your mama. <laughs> your mama, dudes. I'm doing good, buddy. How are you? The skies are filled with the Eagles of Justice. This new Blade Masters join us in the Hall of Heroes. Welcome, my friends. Welcome to your... Uh-oh. Ooh. Ooh. Your mom's... I thought that said yo-yo mama. I thought it said your mama. <laughs> Yo, yo, my dudes. But my mind read it so fast and condensed it so fast that it looked like your mama, dudes. Your mama, dudes. Court Chesney coming in hot. $5 from Justin Corchess. Maybe that moist microphone on the bed is a necessary item. How do you know that it's moist? Tribute from Justin, who tries to lead us with wise sage wisdom on tonight's we adventure. You don't want a teenage mutant ninja turtle, but which one could turn you into Squirtle? Move your tongue into a circle, the right spot is universal. I mean, hey, Bernie, I mean, that is right. Remember the old rule of thumb <laughs> was to do the alphabet? I think we need to make it a mission. We need to stand with this, folks. We need to change the stigma that it's not the alphabet. You just slap a flat pancake on there and go in a circle, and you're going to be just fine. We, we'll call it Pancake Circles. A League of Blades. Somebody trademark that, quick. Your people hook up my people. Pancake Circles. Pancake Circles. Ready to turn off my thinking brain and simply watch some Scotty Blades? Hey, nobody's better at making your brain dumb than me. <laughs> <So> <laughs> Enjoy yourself, my friend. Kick up your feet. Pour yourself a nice blade brew. Let Papa take you on a little adventure. Good to have you. Nobody makes you dumber than me, I promise. Let me go call the police. This cannot be true. I'll take the flashlight on the... Oh, it's a flashlight, not a moist microphone. <laughs> it's 
Scotty, you make us smarter and better every day. Uh, maybe better, but definitely not smarter. But definitely better. Because I gotta be honest with you, about half the content that I make is improv, so I make up about half the shit that I say. So, <laughs> better with a soul healing power of laughter, but definitely not smarter because half the stuff I say is made up. This was a flashlight, by the way. I'm going to repair the energy outside. I have to wear my helmet when I watch Scotty. Yeah, so all you have to do is, when you show up is look under your chair. There you will find a pair of brown rubber baby bottom bumper baby blade bottom pants. A blade helmet, which may or may not have places for you to put your drinks so that you can put the straws in your mouth. Foster got a flashlight on there in case it gets dark and you get scared. Let me go turn on the energy outside. We need energy. Want to get dumber? Yeah, that's on the brochure. Hey, champ. Not sure why you're here. But here's what we have to offer. A minus two in intelligence, but a plus nine in charisma. It's just like The Witcher. You remember when all them hot chicks were doing witch crap out there in that tower? And you're like, any minute they're going to kiss, but they never did. But you thought they were going to. But they never did. They should have. But also, you can't cast a spell without pulling that energy from something else. So they had all the eels in the KY wizard jelly that they could pull the energy from. And then the eels would go bye-bye. But then they would replace it with more eels. And it was okay. It was a big giant battery, right? Well, when you watch the Scotty Blade show, you're plugging into the, to the battery. You're going to lose intelligence because I got to pull it from somewhere, but you do gain charisma. Lots and lots of charisma. But not so much intelligence. Okay, he said I got to fix the energy outside. Where's the energy? Here it is. Oh, crap, it doesn't work. Well, you choose. These decisions will affect the end of the game. Oh, yeah, I'm sure they will. I can escape from the house, or I can continue. Well, I like a good challenge, so we're going to continue. Dies immediately. I'm going to sleep. I don't think anything will happen. Well, Archimedes, just based on the fact you've gotten two phone calls tonight, one of a person giggling, two, let's play a game, three, the power's out, four, there's a bloody cleaver in your living room. You're right. We're going to roll the dice of fate here and say probably nothing's going to happen. I believe in you. What is this? I believe in you, champ. You'll make it. So like a normal day? Oh, yeah. With my moist microphone in hand, what's the worst that can happen? <laughs> what is that sound? All right, time to choose again. These decisions will affect the end of the game. Go under your bed. Go see what the sound was. I'm not dumb. We're going to go under my bed. You can't get me down here, you phantom. This is a lot of fun. What's up, Xander? This is... Okay. <laughs> the magic... 13 months for the magic man, Jared Magic Man Johnson, has sworn his allegiance return from the field of battle and once again re upped his membership as a Blade Masters. Eagle Fly. Choose your own adventure. Yeah. Thank you, Jared. Uh, let's see here. I can stay there or I can go out. Well, Listen, I'm getting old, and when I get down to my hands and knees, it takes a lot of effort to get back up. So I'm just gonna—I probably gonna end up falling asleep down here. To be honest with you. So let's just stay here where we're at. You didn't have to stay long. He found you. <laughs> I 
You didn't have to stay long. You didn't have to. Yeah, Edning. <laughs> no wonder we can't get the achievement for ending. We got that Edning. <laughs> we got a couple more folks welcoming back to the Hall of Heroes. Hey, what's up, Mama Justice and both of you guys? No, Phillip's uh, Scotty's Blade's best friend. Phillip's the one that started it. Philip, who's it's what's it's? Guys, thank you all so much. Mike. Man. There was a lot of blade masters that were out in the field doing good and spreading some justice, and they returned to us and swore their allegiance once again. Gen two boobs, Kern, Mike, Philip, who's it's what's it's, and Mama Justice. Jen with thirteen months, Mike with eleven. Philip, a tier three member, returning thirteen months is the highest membership, and Mama Justice a tier two. Thank you guys. I don't know how to, there it goes. Click the menu. Okay. Okay. You know what? Huh? You know what? Uh, I don't really care what the, what the other endings are. Folks, that was Bloody Visitor. They got like a 616 thing going on, but they didn't bother with the music or the animation or the story or even bothering to spell ending correct. Not a good game. After going through the trial by Blades, I give that game a 0 0.5. out of 10 blades. This game is a Resident Evil Zero clone game. I've not heard anything about this, but it's called Hades Zero. I don't know what we're up against in this one. It looked pretty cool. And it was free. No, this I think this one was a dollar. Such a generous rating. Well, what is up with the audio? There's no audio in any of these games. Tank, pixel perfect. The alarm just went off. Apparently something went wrong. And they are asking all staff to evacuate immediately. Okay. I called Mike and he doesn't answer. Your voice is enough? <laughs> I am very afraid. Of whatever. I can find. My voice can, be, my ears can only be blessed with the sounds of Papa. Betty's buttering me up. Watch it crash. Is your audio muted? No. There's just no audio in the menus. It's weird. I'm going to whip out the old handy dandy blade pad here. It's even blade color. And it doesn't match my new Bigfoot beer shirt. Bigfoot beer! I know Bigfoot's not real, but I'm a believer. I hope one day I can meet Bigfoot and he gives me all the beer and beef jerky I can handle. Uh, okay. This bitch has got a ponytail. We gotta stop that. Nice. Okay, uh, chapter one. Whoa. Noif Pistol. This guy's name is Nick Smith. That's a hero name if I ever heard it. How do I shoot? Got him. Stop it, you idiot! Okay. Once you click... No. Shh.
And God said, feed on my flesh and drink my tears. I don't think he said that. Accept the gift of my body and yours. Accept the divinity of my being and venerate my gratitude. I don't know. I don't think that was God. Also, that was a weird time. Hey, look! Resident Evil transition scene. You're getting old Resident Evil style? Oh, yeah. And God said, two ice in my Fanta, please. Takes one step. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Falls in the blood. Ooh. There's just some audio. You know, in Hollywood, there's people that their job is to recreate sound effects. How do you get that sound effect, that wet? I guess you'd actually have to go outside Put a thicker than normal sauce or wet substance on the ground and then have somebody step in it. Ooh. 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 Also, when I was a cop, we couldn't have ponytails. Never mind, this guy does not have a ponytail. That was just a weird angle. Squish a handful of mayonnaise. <laughs> Ooh. You go ahead. I'm not interested. No squishy mayonnaise for me. Now, here's something that I've never pondered. Also, I love this music, by the way. If I'm going to go to a save room, my safe space, my safe space would have pizza, BTGCs, beer, and whatever playoff sports game is on at the time, whether it's football, baseball, or basketball. That's my safe space. But in these safe spaces, in these games, there's no snacks. Of course there should be a vending machine. Of course. In Resident Evil, the save room's got a stupid place where you develop film. I don't like film. I like snacks. Give me snacks. Pick up. <laughs> Was it a wet rag? <laughs> What's that? Ew. Grab it. Ink ribbon. Well, if this wasn't an exact rip, there's one thing to be inspired by an intellectual property or brand or story. It's another thing just to flat rip it off. An old typewriter. You can save your progress here if you had an ink ribbon. Will you use the increment? I will. Give it to me. Too bad the guy's name is not Leon. Dirty bullets. Tiger 9mm. Is that not the picture? Mm, that's not the actual picture of the ammo I guess they don't use. Unless the film has BTGCs. I did. Now, I, I'm not anti... God, that was loud. I'm not anti-film, because, you know, I used to be a movie projectionist. So, before before we lost the magic of movies, they used to send movies in, like, six to eight big, giant metal canisters that had big wads of film that was wrapped around what was called a brain. Which a brain is just, if you've ever had ribbon or fishing line on one of those circular plastic spools, the film would come in in big giant metal spools, but it would come to you because if you put the whole film together, it would weigh hundreds of pounds and be like several miles long. So they send it to you spliced up in sections, and then you as the projectionist, would take that and splice it together. So I used to, for hours, I would look through 35 millimeter frames. And the way that those work, if you didn't know, a lot of you probably do know this, is that the film has the same scene like 12 times in a row with just little sub subtle changes per frame. Just little itty bitty like blinking real slow or mouth moving. And then of course if you speed that up, it all becomes one fluid motion. Kind of like those little notepads with a guy running on it you can 
draw on every page and then flip through the notepad and it makes the guy run. That's still the best job I ever had before. I got free popcorn, free movie merchandise, and memorabilia. I uh, I was also the hiring manager, so I hired nothing but hot chicks to work the concession stand downstairs. So I would watch movies all day long, and then in between movie breaks, I'd go downstairs and flirt with all the hot chicks. The perfect job. How does a jukebox work? Don't know. I know how my dad's 1996 Ford Explorer 80 Bauer Edition, his six CD disc changer used to work. Is that like a jukebox? Now projectionists just put DVDs and push play. Film can. Five dollars from Samuel Norse, the Scotty Blade Show. Rated T for titties. We live in a society where we get to hear the President of the United States say titties. We also live in a society where justice prevails because we've got heroes in the audience who give tribute to the great cause of the League of Blades, who gives tribute to our heroic deeds. Thank you so much, Samuel, for the five bones, and thank you, my friend, for being my hero. Man, this guy looks as tired as I was when I used to work 12-hour shifts. Hey, honey, you want to go see a movie tonight? I just worked 12 hours of people yelling and screaming and trying to kill me. I just want to go to bed. I don't think I have a map. Do I have a map? I do have a map. What's the fast tool map? You're a tool! Okay, that's not it. There's the map. What a map it is. Let's take a theater intermission pause. A theater intermission pause. Uh, let's see. A theater intermission pause. I don't think I got anything for that. I got this. Darn it! <laughs> Hooray! <laughs> Run, children. Hey, Andrew, the, ch <laughs> the children. <laughs> There's no kids there, you dingalings. I'm not swinging axes at people. I would never do that. Why won't anybody think of the children? I do have a, uh, I'm blessed with cake. I've spent my entire life wrestling and carrying around heavy shit, so I got thick legs. Also, I'm like 5'2", according to you guys, so I got small man, big, big joints. Small man, big joints. I don't want, I don't want to say anything because I know there are people who were watching that. I didn't know if they were recording it. Do people still record programs anymore? Is DVR a thing? TiVo? I've not had cable in years, so I don't know. But let me ask this without spoiling anything. I know some folks won on night one, right? So if you win on night two, which is tonight, does that mean that whoever wins on night two is the official winner, even though somebody else won on night one? Papa's basically a D&D &D dwarf? Oh, yeah. Huge points in constitution, low points in intelligence. We've not even seen an enemy yet. Open! I don't want to spoil anything, Jen. There's nothing in that box.
They saw me and ran. That's right, kids. A couple of them ran towards me and said, will you be my dad? And I said, not now. <laughs> I'm busy. Not, not, not now. I'll be your internet, dad. Hello, Sam. I thought my name was Nick. I hope you're having a great day. I am. Or night, I don't know. Okay, you're feeling less disingenuous now. Anyways, I left the lever in the power room. This morning, I had to use it to fix some pipes that were old. And I had to tear them out to replace them. Well, if you need it, you know where. I'll give it to you. I'll wait for you here the night where I always play cards. <laughs> Different matches both nights. Well, then who's the champion? You obtain letter to Sam. Pick up. Power room key. I need something to open this up. Has anybody won the Powerball yet? From the last I heard, the Powerball was worth $1 billion? Wait. $1 billion! Mm, Scott? Scotty Dink. Scotty Dent. Night one was tag team to determine the rules of night two. Oh, okay. That sounds stupid. <laughs> Actually, that sounds fine. I can't ever tell. I just, because we talk about wrestling so much on the show, you know how your phone, do you, you do understand that your phone listens to you. So if I say leather jacket my phone's gonna be full of leather jacket deals so talking about wrestling there's gonna be a lot of wrestling stuff on my facebook feed right so i keep seeing like the rock is making wrestling cool again and then i read the comments and the comments are like screw the rock he's the worst thing to happen to wrestling since uh Gold dust. <laughs> Everybody's all over the place. Because of the rock, I'm actually paying attention to wrestling a little bit, so take it what you want to. Is he not called the rock anymore? What's he called? The people's champion? Or egotistical douchebag? The man came out with facial cream. He's went too far. It's also based on how long you stay looking at the post for whatever reason. Huh. He's the final boss. <laughs> what a loser. I refuse to call me anything but Dwayne. <laughs> the final boss. That's a pretty cool nickname. All right, listen. That's a cool nickname. The final boss. That's a cool nickname. I like that. You know what I don't like? He keeps making movies with my sweetheart, Emily Blunt. Won't you take my sweetheart from me, The Rock? Zombie check. I win. He better not get up. I just did the zombie check and he failed. He got canceled out. Canceled. Undertaker? I thought he left. Who cares? That's such a crock ass. <laughs> Do you want to watch the new Star Wars movie? Look, you remember Han Solo? I remember Han Solo. Do you remember Jabba the Hutt? I remember Jabba the Hutt. Do you remember Yoda? Well, that's Grogu. You remember? I remember. You remember Undertaker? I remember Undertaker. It was awesome. Hey, I'm glad you guys are enjoying it. I used to uh, use, I just used the power room key. Oh, that's cool, Bernie.
Is there somebody under my desk? Cut that out. I'm doing a show right now. You can do that later. I'm busy. It's not working! Ah! Dag on it. Okay, he's definitely dead. You know how he know he's dead? He made boo boo blood out of his bum bum. That's how you know he's dead. A few years ago, Edge showed up at Royal Rumble and the manliest tear fell from my eye. The Edge. See, I can't tell. Because you know when Ray Romano, the Mexican luchador guy, got put into the hall of whatever, who cares? His son, who he's got beef with, who's dating. Rhea Ripley, but not really. And then him and Rhea showed up, and they're all like, I'm going to, I hate you, Dad. But then they, they it was so honorable because they were fighting back tears because, you know, you got to stay, stay on script. Arr, can't break script. Arr, I hate you, Dad. And I hate that you're, you're the best that ever did it in my family. And my Amazonian dummy mommy here don't like it either. And Red's over there like, Arr! And then he's over there like, Arr! And Ray Romano's up there like, Arr! And everybody's just, Arr! And they're all, Arr! But actually, off screen, they're all, Arr! But on screen, they're, Arr! It's whatever. You can cut the crap for one, one sequence. What I was getting at with that was is that I can't tell what's real and what's not because... I thought everybody hated CM Punk. And CM Punk just, oh, yeah, he's the worst. He's, he's a piece of crap. But then he's going to all these sporting events with the guy he keeps fighting with backstage. He's like, he was at some basketball game the other day with whoever the guy was he got beef with. Who cares? <laughs> what the hell is that creature? That's a zombie. Death by Snoo Snoo? Man. I've said this many times. I just want to. I just want to wrestle with Rhea Ripley. And if we get so sweaty and oily, something pops out, and then that thing that pops out pops in, and I love you. And hey. I love you. <sighs> Hang on, Shayla. I'm killing the zombie in your honor. That was for you. Perfect timing. <laughs> This one's for. Don't girls usually bad boys to annoy their dad? I have no idea, man. I've never. I am here. Welcome. To the door like a hero. What an entrance! Is this thing on? Because it sucks if it's not. I hate it, and it's... Share with the rest of the class? I can't. I don't know what I just dropped. Oh, my ammo! I got it back. <laughs> I don't know why I dropped it. I was trying to combine it. What's up, J-Dog? Did you know that Ray Ripley is not dating Ray Romano's son, and that Ray Romano's son actually likes his dad? And that CM Punk actually gets along with everybody, even though everybody thinks he's an a-hole. I can't tell what's real anymore. I stepped away to get food. What is this game? This game is called Hades Zero. And it is a very, very cheap Resident Evil clone game that we're given a trial by Blaze. And I must say this. It's not bad. 
But I will say this. The reason why it's not bad is because it's... Nothing better than a fart. Except kids falling off bikes, maybe. Fuck, I could watch kids fall off bikes all day. I don't give a shit about you, kid. Well, there is something to be said. There is some... There is a comedy. When people get hurt, but they don't get hurt, you know what I mean? Like if somebody steps on a rake, and then the rake flies up, hits them in the face... It stings, but they're not in permanent pain. You're going to laugh. Watching old people fall down the stairs. You know, this is awful. This is awful. This is awful. But I crack up every time I see a video of Biden falling. So. <laughs> I shouldn't be that way. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Stop. Falling. Oh man, I shouldn't be that way. When he when he when he came up on that bicycle, then the <laughs> the bicycle both wiped out. Whoop! I shouldn't be that way. I hate how you are being so fun and attentive to chat and are actually interacting with chat, bro. Yeah, I know. I hate it, too. Bro. Okay, that door. I need what? I need something to pick the lock with. Could you be more specific? Maybe a lock pick? I don't like people, so people get hurt. It's always funny. Help! See a loser? <laughs> I'll kill him. We can't let any monsters live. You know what I've gotten into? I, like I need another hobby. I have gotten into making terrariums. It's like having a little piece of nature in a candy jar. <laughs> I tell I am. Eventually, when I get this one done, I'm going to put it behind me so that the whole world can see my terrarium. Terrariums are cool. Oh, yeah, I completely agree. I completely agree. I've been painting Warhammer figurines, and I've got little Warhammer figurines inside of my terrarium. Get up here so I can shoot you. Ow! 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 He, he got me? Terrarium. It's like having a little piece of earth in a jar. That's right. Dramatic much? Terrarium. Where the hell is that pothole that I needed to put the crowbar in? Where am I? I have a jar of dirt. I have a jar of dirt. I haven't seen the boat rights tonight. I think that game I played last time pissed them off so bad they just decided to leave forever. Show of hands if you think punk music is just people whining. The White Claw chapter shower. You never thought of punk comedies like that? What'd you play last night? I don't normally stream on Saturdays. I didn't stream last night. Last night, uh, I was in Asheville, North Carolina. Should I save? Yeah, we'll save. Yeah, punk rock music is just people whining. 
I wanna be an American idiot. You wanna go get that aluminium? You want a terrarium? Terrariums are very cool. I'm putting together a terrarium, and it's going to have what's called vampire crabs in it. Because if I'm going to have crabs, I want them to suck me dry. You said last night, but I think you meant Friday night. No, Zach said last night. I'm answering his question. I was waiting for Ted to say something. I could see Ted at home just... Well, actually... <laughs> I played Buckshot Roulette. It, it really got on my nerves that uh, so many people didn't like the game. If you don't like it, instead of shouting at me to play something else, just wait till the next stream when I play something else. I didn't have anything else prepared. That's all I had. I don't like this game. Play something else. That's all I got. <laughs> I spent money on this game. That's all I got. Let's see. Switch. Anyway, yeah, it's a self-sustaining ecosystem, exactly. And it's going to have vampire crabs in it. You bought Buckshot Roulette? Hey! I liked it, too. That was Thursday? It was. I liked it. And it's the, it's the biggest game on the internet. You're always right. I wish the people on Reddit saw that like you do when I'm on there and I give my opinion on anything and then they get real salty and then and then I don't respond because you know the best way to piss off somebody who thinks their opinion matters just don't talk to them <laughs> well not that I'm not <laughs> we it all on. fail we all make mistakes. It's what makes us human. Was that Master Chief? Scotty has Reddit haters. I uh, not since I first when I first started streaming. You you really spread the sauce. You know what I mean. You're just uh, you just get it out there. You're just uh, just get it out there. Just wherever you can put it at. And then you get to where we are now, where we don't like new people. So when new people show up, we ban them. So, unless you come recommended, if you guys bring in somebody new, we'll welcome with open arms. But if a random person shows up, we're going to ban them. We don't like new people around here. Anyway, uh, it's not because of Reddit, because of anything that I'm doing. You guys, you guys know that I play Marvel Strike Force in my free time whenever I'm taking a poop. So when I'm pooping, I play a little mobile game I got on my phone. And sometimes I check Reddit just to see what's going on in the world of that game that I play. And my God, it's a free-to-play mobile game. And people get on there and just demand, I can't believe, and why is it this way? And they should really do this and that. I'm like, well, you know, you are playing a product that they made for free. It's like going to a restaurant every single day and eating the restaurant's food for free because other people are willing to pay for it so you don't have to. Then you demand that when the pizza is not to your liking, that they change the pizza for you. That's kind of how that feels and sounds to me. So if I get on there and say something like, if I agree with somebody, then the Reddit salt hive mind just gets in there. They just tear it apart. And people really need to understand. And, and honestly, this is a stupid take. And blah 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 blah. And so I just don't respond, and it drives them crazy. They'll respond to their own comments. Shut you up, didn't I? You can sit there and scream at the sky all you want to. I'm probably out here banging the prom queen, so you'll be all right. I banned new... <laughs> Start sweating profusely. Like I said, if you're cool, you're fine. But the last... Oh, I don't know. The last four or five people that we've had on the show have just showed up and literally said, who here's underage? Or are you a girl... Or, do you really have two boobs? And then they proceed to spiral out of control after that, which res which results in them changing their profile pic to a sweaty guy. Like that, staring at their phone. Hey, are you a girl? 
What a great way. What a great way. You only you've been super cool. Yeah, you've been fantastic. You definitely did not show up the first day and go, who here's got a vagina? Is that a zombie? It is. I am I am stuck. I could not move for some reason. That was weird. I still can't move. What is going on? Good thing you saved? Yeah, I can't move. Huh. And I also cannot... Oh. Uh, bold check. Good night, sweet prince. I just used the crowbar. I just did it. You identify as Scotty Blades? <laughs> you smell like blueberry and tobacco. Whoops. Well, we're out of ammo. Hey, I'm glad you feel that way, Benjamin. Yep. We're out of ammo. Chrissy, wake up! Ow! I identify as Shayla's identity. I'm going to need copious amounts of Shayla's pictures so I can put them on my ID because I, quote, identify as her. <laughs> I'm going to need more pictures of Scotty because I identify as him. <laughs> we got to find a lockpick. Chrissy, wake up! Every angle I see this guy, it looks like he's wearing a ponytail. Igor got a picture with Cody Rhodes. Is he at WrestleMania? I know he was late last night because he was watching the... I, I about said the fight. It ain't a fight. You know what I mean. He was watching the show. The bust of a lion. There is an engraving. Only the blue stone will scare the lion. The blue stone. I got some blammo. According to the records in recent months, data has been leaked from H01 regarding the data of redacted. Well, that didn't do me no good. Hey, thanks, Manhattan. They say they, they say, they say. They say they saw this guy snooping around in the archive room and stealing some key documental about the purchase of subjects in the redacted. Seems that he's a mole. This music will get me copyrighted, or as we like to call it in the streaming business, DMCA'd. Don't matter, cuz. A-hole. I need you to interrogate him and then finish him off. We can't let things get out of control. Some guy named Schlatum Flapper. You obtained the interrogation letter. I don't care. That's not a lockpick, and that's not a blue stone. And that's what I need. Tater's gone rogue. Why? Are we anti-Cody Rhodes? Uh, 
That's the music you scold your children to? <laughs> Let me set the scene here before I get on to you about talking back to your mom. <sighs> Rolls up sleeves. Takes off glasses. Takes off hat. Ugh. What did you say to your mama? Gun! Stop. You love both the Evil Within games? We need to pl I have never played two. Never played two, but I have played... It's time for a spanking. Would you stop being hot on a Sunday? Uh, what was I talking about? Oh, anyway, I never played two, but I heard two's way more fun. I've tried playing one, and I liked one, but I've never let her cook. <laughs> Wait, let's see where this goes. <laughs> Did you eat your vegetables? It's on Game Pass. I've got both the dumb games on my PlayStation. I just never played them. Ain't I an idiot? I bought them with the intentions. Now, we did play one, and we did beat it, now that I remember it, because we played the Evil Within DLCs, and I really, really liked those. There was one where you played as the hammer dude who had the safe, he had the safe face. Oh, man, the DLCs were great. I mean... Ooh. I'm a little bit lost. I'm a little bit rock and roll. Hello, Rachel. You're not anti Cody. He cries all the damn time. From every single clip that I've ever seen about Cody Rhodes, he's getting his ass kicked and he's screaming. That's not much of a role model. Get in that hole. All right. Did you climb through a vent? Oh, yeah. I'm trying to find a lockpick. And for the longest time, I didn't know that Cody Rhodes wasn't The Miz. I thought The Miz and Cody Rhodes was the same person. Hello, Shane. You're not normally on on Sundays? I am most of the time. But hey, buddy, I'm glad I caught you. Wouldn't be the same without you. Yeah, I, I thought Cody Rhodes was the Miz for a long time. I had no idea they were two different people. Thump, thump. For some reason, the blades you know, just don't get your way for whatever reason. We'll fix that. I'll have my best people. We are going to put a blade pylon in your neck of the woods there, Shane. That way, you never miss another beacon ever again. When the League of Blades calls for aid, it'll get to Shane. I gotta find a lockpick. Thought you took Thursdays and Sundays off? Saturdays. I took Saturdays off. You're pulling a you're pulling a classic Scotty B. Close but no cigar. <laughs> Sir, this is only $4.99. Isn't it $4.99? No, it's actually $5.99. Oh. Well. Yeah, I'm off uh Thursdays and Saturdays. I'm a little bit lost. Cody is such a goon. He thinks Homelander is a hero. I think Homelander's cool. He definitely isn't a hero. I think he's cool. Where in the world are these lockpicks I'm looking for? My guy runs like me, man. Middle-aged, depressed, bad back, lots of... Uh, 
Lots of scar tissue. Can I get in this vent? No. This is taking me back to the beginning. Where the hell? Good luck reading this map. What the? I just... Mm, how do I zoom out? Slowly. Oh, my God. Stop. Oh, stop. Jesus. I can't... I can't look around. I, I can't... Okay. If I... If I don't shoot... <laughs> you rang? I've searched every room. Where in the world have I not found lockpicks yet? Hmm. The map seems a bit temperamental. Buddy, buddy. I shouldn't be laughing, but I'm laughing at Scotty getting pissed at the map. <laughs> It's just like how I am in real life. Ask for directions. No. And I'm reading over this dumb map and yelling at it. It's not the map's fault. You know what I like to yell at? Do you guys have smart TVs? I'm pretty, pretty sure everybody does now. Smart TV, right? You pick up your remote. You push the Google Home button or whatever. And you, you say, YouTube. And then it pulls up Hulu. No. YouTube. And it pulls up. Amazon, you too, and it just pulls up some other weird thing. It turns on my air conditioner, you too. Cody did a whole death of Superman thing in the AW by dyeing his hair black. Okay, I think I like Cody. I think I like, I didn't think I'd like Cody, but I think I would like Cody. Your accent is not as strong as mine, Ted. My accent, can't understand a word I'm saying half the time. Oh, that was cool. I'm not wanting to go this way, though. So Cody likes Homelander, and Cody likes... Superman. I think me and Cody would get along. Somebody the other day said they don't like him because he has a lisp. <laughs> Not a lisp. The neck tattoo? Yeah, it is kind of dumb. Scotty broke the map. I can't get it to work. Now, according to the map, I am here now. But, pshht. Almost got stuck again. Okay. Who do you think would win in a fight between Homelander, Omni-Man, and Superman? I don't know enough about Omni-Man to be any kind of reliable material on Omni-Man. I do know enough to know that Superman gets his powers from the sun's radiation. I'm a buff baby that can dance like a man. I can shake him my fanny. I can shake him my can. I'm a tough tootin' baby. I can punch all your buns. Punch, punch your, your buns. buns. I can punch all your buns. If you're an evil witch, I will punch you for fun. I'm sure Homelander could put up a fight and then Superman just fly off into space and soak in sun radiation for a week and come back and just blast him off the planet. But Omni-Man, I, I don't know a whole lot. I don't know enough about Omni-Man to be able to say ba-boom. But Superman, with the radiation, Homelander's kind of got like a peak. Whereas Superman is like Hulk. He can just keep getting stronger. I'm a buff, baby. Papa murders White Claws. What is this place? I don't know. I need a blue... I don't have lock picks, and I don't have a blue stone. Doot, 
Evil, Evil Superman is very much in. James Gunn has said in his Superman movie um, that even though Lex Luthor is the main bad guy, there will be a evil Superman. Think like Bizarro. I think, I don't know if he's came out and said that it's not Bizarro, but it, apparently it's like a clone of Superman or something. If there's a place you gotta go, I'm the one you need to know. I'm the map. 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 I can get you there, I bet. I'm... Thanks for reminding me you're out of White Claw. Hey, man. White Claw is becoming my favorite alcohol. And if you think it's for white trash Karens, then <laughs> that's your prerogative. You it's know what? All of you better duck. Because I'm about to turn left, and I don't want to smack you with my dick. I am sad. I've never watched the Dragon Ball Z abridged series, right? I only watched canon Dragon Ball Z. I have now went through and watched. I got a little emotional. I went through and watched the entire Dragon Ball Z series abridged. I gotta tell you, I actually like it better than the original. I actually like the voice actors better than the original. The guy that did Vegeta was fantastic. The guy that did Cell was fantastic. And when that show, when that show ended, can I pull this thing back? I got a little sad. Hmm. DBZA, it's the best. I was so impressed, man. It is so good. The guy that does, I, I don't think I can ever go back and watch Goku be Goku. And when I hear him say Frieza, in my mind, not say Freezer. Freezer. You saw the hood version? Not the hood version. I'll never be able to see Frieza and not say Freezer again. Or how Piccolo constantly has those conversations in his head with Nell and uh, whoever the other, Akami. I am the hype. That's right. Dr. Satan was awesome. Not Dr. Satan. <laughs> Mr. Satan. He called all of his followers Satanist. <laughs> Listen out there, all you Satanists. <laughs> Satanists. The, the writing was so, so witty, man. I cannot find these lockpicks. Where the, I, there's got to be a glitch in this game. I can't find the lockpicks. Hercules rules. <laughs> I mean, Hercules, yeah. I can't find these lockpicks. So, Dr. Satan is... Ain't that a... That's a Rob Zombie movie, I think. Which, he, apparently, he's making another movie with his weird-ass wife, Sherry Moonstone, or whatever her name is. Dr. Satan's not Rob Zombie? Oh, crab baskets. City folks during the Cell games, that makes sense. The Cell Saga is my favorite Dragon Ball story. And the Cell Saga in Dragon Ball Z at Bridge was incredible. House of a Thousand Corpses. Isn't that a... That's a Rob Zombie movie, right? Oh, you're saying no to somebody else. I got you. House of a Thousand Corpses. Vegito for the win. I can't remember. If I remember right, Vegito, one of them has to do with the earring fusion. There's Gogeta, I think that's how you pronounce his name, and Vegito. 
And then there's that really annoying one, Gotenks. I couldn't stand Gotenks. I tell you, Vegeta, he gets really owned in Dragon Ball Z abridged. Basically, anybody that's not Goku gets owned in Dragon Ball. And you just don't really realize it till you really realize it. My boy Piccolo, I've always loved Piccolo. He's, he normally is like, Piccolo puts up a better fight than Vegeta. Vegeta's the earring? Okay. Did you watch the Bardock one? Huh uh. The hate between Tien and Vegeta? Yeah. I am an adult. I need. Where in the hell is the lock picks? I've gotten to the point now where I need a lock pick to get anywhere According in the game. According to the manual, you're a jackass. <laughs> Nothing hidden in the box. I'll go back and check it out. Bolchi? There's a fusion between Bulma and Chi Chi. You know, I was really into like Dark Princess Peach till I realized it was Bowser. Start it! Yeet yeet! Zachary Buck has returned from the field of battle, spreading the good word, spreading the justice, spreading hero work all across the lands and is back for 13 months. Welcome back, Blade Master. Welcome. Welcome. Eagles fly and fill the sky. People will look up the blade beacon. Ten dollars from Zatchby. Tribute has been made. A heroic deed has been performed. And that deed's coming from the man, the legend, Zachary Buck. You guys know where the buck stops. It stops right here, right now. Hey, I found a secret. Scotty, what kind of games do you like to play and like to stream? Well, uh, for the first year that I streamed, I did nothing but Resident Evil, and I loved every single second of it. And then, after an entire year, of streaming the same game, I finally got tired of it. So I started branching off into indie horror. And that was fun at first. Well, I did it for two years. I did indie horror for two years. And during that time, we switched the gears. We did an entire playthrough of Grand Theft Auto. Took a little break, did the Grand Theft Auto stuff. Played the entire series. Played three, Vice City, uh, San Andreas. How do I get that thing? And then we played most of five on the Chaos mod, but we didn't get... I found the lockpick, thank God. But that guy's bigger and tougher. Help! Help! I'm just going to leave him be. Anyway, what do I play off stream? Very artsy fartsy RPG games. Games that I would probably not stream because there's a lot of grinding involved. I play a lot of Diablo 4 off stream. I play WoW off stream. Uh, play Stardew Valley off stream. I've been playing Midnight Suns, the Marvel Midnight Suns. Mostly RPGs. I got a lockpick. I got a lockpick. What about you? 
It's budget, Mr. X. I'm just not going to bother fighting him. I don't think I can beat that guy. How long you been doing YouTube? Uh, we did Facebook for three years, and then YouTube is getting close to two years now. But one year of YouTube was YouTube-Facebook hybrid. So we did YouTube and Facebook together for a whole year, and then fe February of last year, we went full-time on YouTube. Yep. I'm hurting for a squirting, and I don't have any pills. We're gonna die. And God said, I don't know if he said that, feed on my flesh and drink my tears? Accept the gift of my body and yours. Accept the divinity of my being and venerate my gratitude because in me you will find the way and salvation. All right. You obtain points. I got a stitch in my hip. Ooh. 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 What does the dagger do? Ooh. <laughs> nice, nice. Ooh. We need healing. What I am wanting to do, though, is I am wanting to get more into series. Series, traditionally, I don't know what it is about YouTube. I, From what I understand from people well-versed in YouTube and YouTube coaches, there is Good some... news, everyone! Jesus, Krembus, that scared the hell out of me. There's something called FOMO, fear of missing out. And if people don't watch the first episode in a series, then they won't watch two or three because they already feel like they've missed out. They feel like they're too far behind. Because, you know, a lot of streams normally last, you know, three, four hours, something like that. So series don't normally do too hot, but I'd like to go back and do more series because we've actually got some pretty famous series on this channel. The Walking Dead is like a legendary series that we've done on this channel. Uh, the Dark Anthology playthroughs with the Man of Medan. Of course, all of our Resident Evil stuff, our Cuphead playthroughs are legendary. Um, Elden Ring. We played Elden Ring for four months. Chip is an icon. It says Nueva Swabia. Lies the P, we played that for about a month. The eyes of the one who reigned over the ashes of the Coda Septum. Magur Shinra. Shinra! Is this an Indian game? You loved Lies of P? Lies of P was my game of the year last year. It's, it's great as. Oh, speaking of games I play off stream, I play Baldur's Gate off stream. But, uh,. Speaking of great games. Forgot what I was talking about. Hey, Andrew. Horror Mario. That's pretty good. The new DLC. I cannot wait either. Need some more chip and dip. The only reason I didn't play it this week is I've had a lot of stuff going on. We're going to get back to playing that game you just mentioned again, Dragon's Dogma. I'm actually probably behind. I think people are... I have played an absolute, a huge variety. Yep, we've, we've done a lot. We've not done... We did Seven Days to Die. Played that for about a week and a half. But traditionally speaking, like we played through the entire Batman Arkham Asylum the other day. I think that took seven streams. Traditionally speaking series don't do well, but I want to do more series. I'm going to save, but I'm going to save in a different spot. That way, because I'm hurting pretty bad for a squirt and I don't have any boo-boo bushes. Save right there. Got to play Stella Blades? We did. 
You were there, I thought, Chris. We did play Stellar Blade. I've got like seven shorts on my channel about it. Think about the full release. That's a bop. Yeah, we're going to play the full release. I think you're talking about the full release, right? Absolutely. Uh, Games coming up. It's a very slow month. The full game, right. I, I figured you did after after you said it and I thought about it. I thought what you meant. As far as games coming out, <clears throat> I do have some indie projects that a couple of people are wanting to, to showcase. There's a game coming out the tent called Yet Another Fantasy Title. That's what that's actually what the game's called, Yet Another Fantasy Title. Dave the Diver. We may play that. It's coming out in the PS5 on April. No Rest for the Wicked, which is a fantastic Lovecraft horror-themed Elden Ring-style game. That comes out this month. The game that Akiri Toriyama was working on before he passed away called Sandland, which is like a Dragon Ball animated Mad Max sandbox RPG. That comes out at the end of the month. We might play that. Pine Harbor. A lot of folks have said if you played that, and we did. We played the demo two or three times, and I hated it. But it's got some kind of weird following because the game looks and feels like Resident Evil Village. That comes out at the end of the month. Stellar Blade comes out at the end of the month. A new SCP comes out at the end of the month. All right, so... Also, the new Fallout TV show comes out this Friday. Do not miss the Fallout TV show because I am hyped about the new Fallout TV show. I will be talking about it here with the League of Blades. I will be discussing spoilers because I'm excited about that. So that comes out this Friday. Whoops. I love the music. We got to do Crow Country. Oh, yeah, I've seen that uh, a lot. Floating around online. The Waifu Combat. I think the internet is just prone to be mad about everything because, you know, everybody's on the internet just pooping all over that Stellar Blade game. Just whatever, man. I loved it. That was great. Friday. Friday is Fallout. You don't have high expectations for it? I don't either. I'm going in absolutely, as Brian says, mid? Based? I don't know. I'm going in with no hopes, in hopes of being pleasantly surprised. So, I, I feel you. Celebrate, loved it. Loved it. I'm not into the politics. I'm not into the rage bait. I'm not trying to be mad about everything in the world. I can't stand that crap. That's been my biggest issue I've had in the last couple of weeks, is just how much I can't stand the internet. But it's not the people necessarily on the internet. It's how much hate and evil that floats around on the internet. So, for some reason, I had a revelation. The internet's like the force. I don't know why this hit me today, but it just did. Yep, 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 yep. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Oh, yeah. That sounds like my backyard where my pond's at. I had a revelation that the internet's like the force. You can't help people use it for dark side purposes. You can't, the Sith's going to use the force just like the Jedi are going to use the force. So it's my responsibility to use the internet in a good way. Four big guys, and they bust on my eyes. They eat my ass just like apple pie. If they keep fucking me like this, I might just die. They pipe my booty till I cry. He licked my dick and... Zach, it's 24 minutes till midnight. You couldn't wait till Monday. 
It's still Sunday. I just needed 24 more minutes. To... I can't, I can't help it. It had some beats. <clears throat> Come on, it's 24 minutes till midnight. All right, where are we going? Am I going to watch the eclipse? Uh, oh, you're fine, buddy. <laughs> Dang, my bad. Uh, am I going to watch the eclipse? I hadn't had any... I don't have any glasses to watch the eclipse. So I just... A lot of people are talking about it. Yeah, I guess. If I... I think I'll be streaming... When is the eclipse tomorrow? I don't know. If it happens and I happen to see it, then awesome. I could have swore that if you watch the eclipse without the proper protection, you get pregnant. You watch it on YouTube? I don't think that has the same effect, but I respect you. Two and four Eastern? Oh, okay. Maybe I will go outside and watch it then. I may sit on the patio. I got some neighbors that moved in down the road. They're potbelly Canadians. I don't understand a word they're saying or they talk in French. I have no idea what they're talking about. I shout at them, but I, I say stupid stuff, but I wave and smile. You guys smell like cheese. And then they wave and smile back and they say something like, I'm going to do it for mine. Texas, one of my buddies traveled down to Texas and is going to watch it. He's in some town that starts with an H, but it's not Houston. He's in, he's in some town that starts with an H in Texas. You'll watch a streamer stream it. If you're not done so yet, folks, do the YouTube thing. You know what to do. Add your fuel to the fire. Hillsboro. That does sound familiar. You'll be in the path of the totality, like directly under it. In, te in Texas. It is something like Hillsboro. He's going to some town source of the H to watch it. All the hotels are packed. Dang. How many of y'all are from Texas? <laughs> oh, you're in Ohio. Houston? Hey. Wrong button. I'm going to do this button. I think it was Hillsboro. He said it was a bigger... Because he said it's like, it's not Houston, but it's big too. And it starts with an H. But it's what not Houston. You're from the bigger Texas? Is that Canada? Ohio, yeah, as soon as you said that, I saw where you said Ohio, because I, I thought everybody was going to Texas, but I guess Ohio is still in the center. Nothing's bigger than Texas? China. Hillsborough's not small. He just said it's not Houston, but it's still big, and it starts with an H. I was like, hey, man, good more power to you. We gotta find that blue stone so I can do that lion quiz, uh, lion puzzle. Bless you guys' hearts for living in Ohio. I hate Ohio, but bless y'all's hearts. <laughs> the only thing that's ever happened good to me is that when I was in Ohio, my ex-wife's cousin, who apparently is rich, gave uh, gave me tickets to watch LeBron James in the finals in two thousand and when he played Dallas or 2008 so I got to watch one of those games while I was in Ohio that was pretty cool I guess otherwise Ohio sucks I 
how do I get up there? Um, how do I get up there? Oh, a ladder, of course. Of course! We've got to find a boo-boo's break. Oh, this is... This game almost frame for frame rips off Resident Evil, and it does it pretty good. I'm not, I'm, I'm not upset about it. This game's pretty sharp. Getting a good trial by Blades. Push the statue. Push the statue. Push the statue. Pump up the volume. Push it. Push it. Push the statue. Push it. You're there. You're close. I see you won't... Oh, you're trying. There you go. Finicky. Ohio don't suck. <laughs> to each their own. It's the... Uh, like, some folks like the hustle and bustle of New York City. I can't get into it. To each their own. I hate art. Nebraska? I like Nebraska because there's nobody out there. Don't you hate people? Nebraska's perfect for you. Yoink. The Blue Jewel. All right, man, I got a pocket full of jewels. And I'm talking about the 1990s singer who was... Dreams last for so long, even after you go. I know you love me. Oh, I got to show you guys something. I got to show you all something. Bro. Brother Ugh. Oh brother Ugh. What's that? Ugh. What's that, brother? <laughs> brother Alaska's the best state because everybody everybody alien abducts everybody. Alaska is like fifty percent real people with fifty percent fugitives from the law. The law. Ooh, brother. Ooh. Ooh, brother. So, this was at a, a local antique shop. How's that a dumb antique store? <clears throat> Are you going to go my way? I just got to, got to know. Bam, bam, bam. I ain't gonna go my way. That's Lionel Richie. I know, that's part of the joke. I can't get anything by you guys. Y'all are on top of it. 
somewhere some people's losing their mind right now that's not that's not that's not Lenny Kravitz that's the joke open sesame oh yeah I think the blue jewel in the lion's mouth ooh brother brother ooh Scotty, my favorite stream in the world. What's up, buddy? Control room key. You're just in time. We're going to wrap up this game. We're going to check out if there's any cool new game trailers on IGN while we take a second to stretch, grab a refill in our drink, and then we're going to start tonight's feature presentation. We're going to start a game that I'm really excited to play called Withering Runes. You're just in time. It took you a second for a real... That's exactly the joke. That's that's exactly the joke. It's just funny that Lionel Richie and Andy Griffith... Because, you know, Andy Griffith is like a 19... What year was that show famous? The 50s or something like that? Because I know that the show started in black and white and then transitioned into color. And it was, you know, like a, a sitcom about a small, sleepy town. And then you got Lionel Richie... Hello, like a big 80s pop star. Like it just didn't, it didn't, and they were both together in an antique shop. It just didn't, the brands didn't match. It's like putting a picture of Ted Williams, the slugger from the Red Sox, and then putting Pennywise the Clown beside of it. It just, the brands don't match. The first picture wasn't a picture of Andy Griffith, that was hey, Gomer Pyle. Maybe a chicken. Down the flat, we'll have a little field. Get the alfalfa for the rabbits. The rabbits. And I get to tend the rabbits. Who shot who for a rabbit? That's Andy. That's young Andy. See what I did there? You blade burned me. You blade burned me. You blade burned me. I didn't like that. He blade rolled you. <laughs> blade rolled. How could you? What language do deaf people think in, Zach? Ten more minutes till midnight. Ten minutes to midnight. And then Zach can make all the dirty jokes. Ten minutes to me to kill the unborn in the womb. Midnight. I wish I could go faster. I'm so tired. I'm so tired. I'm so tired my stomach hurts. Ouch. Is this the way? I don't know where I am. I don't know what I'm doing. Where do I need the key? Where's the room? Bunch of dead guys in here. I got stomach cramps. My, my spaghetti house is making garlic bubbles. Oh, wait a second. Is that the room? Are you going to go my way? Premature happens sometimes. You know what I say whenever I bust too fast? I'm like, hey, baby. 
Let's just get some more practice. You know what I'm saying? I'll be back in six to nine hours when my refractory period's over and I've had Gatorade and a couple of naps. I'll be back to finish the job. All right? I'll be back. Nine minutes. Thank you, Zach. Somebody get Zach a staff so he can hit the ground. Nine minutes. Nine minutes to midnight. What key did I get? The key that opens the door to the control room. What control room? I'm so lost. This map is incredibly difficult to navigate. I have no idea where we're going. Eight minutes here. I mean, give or take, people. There's going to be some time. Forget it. I cannot enter. Some folks are going to be ahead. Some folks are going to be behind. Sometimes maybe good. Sometimes maybe shit. Sometimes maybe good. Sometimes maybe shit. I really wish I could go faster than this. I'm really impressed with this little bitty Resident Evil game. This gets a solid rating in the trial by Blade. Is that a new shirt? It is. That's what I want my Bigfoot to be like. I want my Bigfoot to have lots of uh, beef jerky and lots of beer. He's only the coolest cryptid ever. You know who Amber likes? I'm really Amber, there is a statue, and I don't know where it's at, but I this is, this feels like something that Brian would just be like, like, roll off the top of his head. There's a statue somewhere that's the Mothman, but he's cheeked up. For some reason, they decided to make the Mothman's ass so bodacious that you can stick money and pencils and stuff in his cheeks and the, and the Mothman statue will hold it in his butt cheeks. I don't know where it's at. It's a nice shirt. Thank you. Love the shirt. Thank you. It better be a good shirt. It's really comfortable. I really like it. Hey, I opened the door I needed to go through. All right, this is a new spot. We made some progress, finally. We finally made progress. Are you going to go my way? I just used the control room key. I just did it. Point Pleasant, West Virginia. I knew Brian would know that. Anyway, I wish I could show you guys the picture. I can't show straight up cheeks. But for whatever reason, the guy that did the statue for this Mothman, he's cheeked up, got huge butt cheeks. And people stick stuff in it, particularly money. Communication with the central building has been complicated in recent weeks. Apparently, someone has been sabotaging communications for some reason. I contacted those above, but they don't want to tell me what is happening. I have a suspicion that someone or some are plotting something somewhere. I think something has discovered and they want to defect. But hey, it doesn't matter. Just keep control of the access to the southern warehouses and check the video records. If you see someone who does not belong to this area, report it to me. You already know. That only the workers in the southern warehouses are the ones authorized to be here. You already know. You've obtained the supervisor letter. You know I have. Nine millimeter blammo? Oh. You know I have. Please give me some pills. Nine millimeter blammo? Pills? Oh, yeah. All right. Research report, discoveries in Nueva Suabuaya. 
Author is Adam Fletcher. The report details most recent significant findings from our expeditions to Nueva Sueva. Uh-huh. Mysteries, natural. Uh-huh. A picture of something. German ship site. Additionally, we have found evidence of human activity in the area. Uh-huh. Oh, Cthulhu. A, gen a genetically fundamentally different from any other known ecosystem on Earth. A species of flora and fauna, or basically a terrarium. They survive in extreme and hostile conditions and defy explanation. Wow. There's a presence of species that some com seem completely out of place in evolutionary terms. Oh my God. That's an alien. Conclusions. The discoveries in Nueva Sueva are just the beginning of an ongoing investigation. Yeah. You've obtained the research report. We got to do some more research on that. The emergency systems were deactivated. I think I can get out of here. Oh, okay. There's going to be like nine dudes in the way. But we'll plow them all, by God. I got a boomstick. I'm not afraid to use it. Thicker than Nicolas Cage? Thicker than Nicolas Cage? Oh, yeah. Are you going to go my way? Okay. He didn't care about that. Kind of feel like that was a waste of bullets. Let's go back to pistol. I'm afraid we're going to run into a boss. I'm going to need those shotgun rounds. Help! Help! Okay, we're going shotgun the whole way. You're kidding me! Ah, double team! What the hell is this? You are dead, and that's as far as I'm willing to go on that game. You showed him. <laughs> I got double teamed. You showed him. All right, that's as far as I'm gonna go on that game. That wasn't a bad game. It was a dollar on itch.io. It's an exact replica copy of uh, Resident Evil. And if you guys are interested in picking up playing it yourself, it's called Hades Zero. That's pretty cool. Now it's time to stretch as we find the midnight hour upon us. Grab me some brew, grab me some snacks. We're about to start tonight's feature presentation. But first. Sinos, would you give your life? Let's see if IGM's got any new cool trailers on here. Word around the offices, you've got a fat cock. You know it. Yes. Yeah. I do. I've got a fat cock too. Maybe we should rub our fat cocks together sometime. I'm glad you waited till midnight to say that. <laughs> uh, let's see here. This is from two days ago. There's nothing going on. Star Wars Unlimited. That is a trading card game. The Mummy. Official 25th anniversary? Just for the sexual thrill! The sexual thrill! Oh. I ain't gonna go my way. You want more Star Wars games? Star Schwartz games? There's something out there. Something underneath that sand. I think this may be the book of the dead. I wanted to be Brendan Fraser when I was a kid. More than three thousand years. He will never stop. His powers are growing. This just twenty-fifth anniversary. Did you swear? If the occasion calls for it, it calls for it. Look what I got. 
Rachel Weiss is such a babe. He would have been a great Leon. I agree. He's been a fantastic Leon. I, I, when I was growing up, I wanted to be Brandon Frazier. I wanted to be a Tomb Raider. I wanted to be a treasure hunter. I thought he was so freaking cool. He was like a modern... Um, Lucky number seven. He was like a modern... Gunslinger. Wonders of the world. Culture is shaped by Shut up. So this movie's called Baghead. It's got the chick that. Daddy, daddy, daddy. When are we filming, daddy? Come on, daddy. Come on, come on, mama. Let's do it, daddy. Let's do it. Let's film, daddy. Eight dollars from your dirty thoughts, mummy. Four needs to happen. We need Brandon Fraser since he's making a comeback in Hollywood to go get into like to go get into action hero shape and do another mummy. I completely agree. Thanks for the five bones. Thank you for the tribute to your dirty thoughts. This movie is called Baghead. You want me pregnant, you idiot. How is that my fault? You said you were wearing protection. I was wearing my armor. Good lord. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see here Freya who's she I think she's in the Witcher TV series she goes to an inherited rundown centuries old pub that is in Berlin Germany and she finds in the basement a creature called Baghead which is a shape shifting creature that can transform into the dead ooh Oh, this is on Shutter. My God, what have you done? I'm the solicitor at your father's estate. My dad owned this place. How many memories with him? She made fun of Henry Cavill liking yeah. Warhammer, and I've never liked her ever since. If you're watching this, then I'm already dead. The producer of it. And barbarian. Woo! The one thing that stands between her and the outside world. You're joking. What is that? No way something oh, walks out of that oh, hole in a basement. Iris. We shouldn't be. Whoa! What is she? She has the power to bring back the dead. What is she, though? I want to see her. Money's really no object. I want to talk to my wife. She only Whoa. gives you two minutes. Sarah, after that, she's in control. What's going on? Anytime there's unnatural yes. body movement where they crawl on the ceilings, I hate that stuff. How do I control her? This isn't something you can wow. I'm going to kill you. You can't kill her. What? Jeez! Man, cool graphics. Cool concept. Cool everything. I like that. That's awesome. Let's fire up Withering Rooms. This is the feature presentation for the night. This is a Metroidvania side-scrolling survival horror game. Nice, nice, yeah. If we've not done so yet, folks, don't forget to do the YouTube thing. 
put your fuel to the fire. Leave a like on the show. The art style on this game is very, very cool. And there's all sorts of like fantasy tropes to it. There's magic, there's melee, you can use weapons, you can use uh, faith and luck builds. But it's set up in a survival horror side-scrolling element, so let's check it out. This game saves automagically. Were there, <laughs> were there original rooms? Prologu. Moist Gatehouse, 1892. In a dream, Nightingale is sent to moist and private asylum by her father. New patients must spend their first night in the gatehouse for observation. It is there that Nightingale first awakens in the dream. Our name is Nightingale? Alright. We got our movement down pat. Some furniture can be interacted with. Press A to interact. Can I go back to bed? No. Can I warm my bones by the fire? Whoa! No tools. I'm a tool. Alright, B roll. There's a picture of Nick Cage and family up on the wall. Chew up! A curious coin with a cross. It's not clear what metal it's made from. It has a subtle iron scent. You know what I can never stand is people that take coins and then put them in their mouth and bite them to see if they're authentic or not. You know how much germs you're actually biting into? I think the only thing germier than your cell phone or your dog's ass is probably your currency. Who needs money in a dream? As the weeks dragged on and my own motivation to help the guests play out their fantasies waned, I began to understand. A coin is a favor. Okay. That's pretty deep. Broken mirror. Same thing I look at every single day. There's blood on the floor. Can I run? I can roll. It's a bird cage. What's up, the vicious? There's a bird cage laying on the ground. And there's something in it. Let me touch. A corpse in a cage. It's blocking a hole in the wall. Uh, kick it. Touch it. Love it. Some furniture can be used to... Press... Oh, 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 oh! Get in, get in, get in! Holy nightmares! I mean, good thing it's stupid and or blind because it's wearing a cloth over its head. <laughs> oh, I don't have anything... Somebody played Mousetrap. 13 Ghost Fives? Yeah. All right. Take care, buddy. Oh, all right. Well, I don't have anything to... Okay, he's still there. Let's not quarrel and quarrel with him just yet. Grandfather clock, there's a keyhole on the front. All right, so we got to remember that we can unlock the clock with decree. Read special placement log. Special placement log, which is what my nickname is for my toilet. February 1891, patient Millie Erdwood, 13. Symptoms, epilepsy, inappropriate behavior. Emma, 14. Fires, inappropriate behavior. Becca Mason, 15. Disagreeableness and headaches? It sounds like me every day. Okay. Press wide near doors to silently peek through them. Peek! Okay. Y'all see that anus right there? Oh, that's a brain. 
anus. Nothing on this but this piece of paper. That's it. All right. Something flashed on the seat. Where? Something flashed on the seat. I'm spamming A. Nothing's happening. I think it's the film effect. I think. I could be wrong. The hate is because the anus breach. Fake Jerry, I meant to unfriend you because all you do is restart games 15 bajillion times during a stream. My money says that that armor is going to come to life. Where am I? Where am I? I don't know. Just don't mess with me. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Dude's got a hatchet. Lord Mostyn won't like this. They're all wearing sacks over their heads. Oh, he's got a bear trap on his leg. And the keys on his oh, back. Albert. Why am I still here? What? Sneak faster, sneak faster, sneak. <laughs> Jesus, Jones, I thought you were leaving. Sneak faster, sneak faster, sneak faster. Okay, the key to the front door of the mansion's gatehouse. Dafty, did you misplace the key again? I should nail it to your backside, you absolute pillock. You literally nailed it to the guy's backside. There is a key sticking out of his asshole. Okay. Thank God that didn't end up blows. Interact with the exit door to unlock it with the key, okay? Let me grab this first. Father! Daffodil's mind is literally decaying. That's the dude that had the key stuck up his butt. To keep him from wandering the grounds, I've unlocked the gatehouse key. I nailed the spare key into his backside in case you need it. You'll have to be sneaky. As an additional safeguard, I cast a spell on the front garden of the mansion. No one dead may pass through. If you're out there, check for the glowing white. We're in. Enemies cannot pass through this area safe. All right, so this whole area out here is safe. Lock's broken. There's the white sigil. I see it now. Oh, I can hide in bushes. Where's the werewolf? I don't know, man, but the art style on this game is gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Those are people. I found some wax wax colored with crocus. A useful ingredient in the production of spells. Alright. Can I talk to them? Slightly stale chocolate cake, still delicious. You look lost. First time in the dream. Oh yeah, I'm lost. I'm Becca. Okay, she's one of the girls that was admitted. I'm afraid you stumbled into something you probably shouldn't have. We're having a sort of celebration to welcome a new member of our little club. You see, we're witches. Ah, oh, I couldn't tell. 
In the dreary, waking world, there's no magic, but here, magic is real. I'm sure it's all terribly confusing. You need to go talk to the first witch. She's our leader. Are we still alive? Hello, Peepie. Yeah, we're still alive. My computer's doing some weird stuff. You'll find her up by the fireplace. My computer's doing some weird stuff. Thank you. Just answer any questions she asks truthfully, and I'm sure everything will be just fine. Oh, and feel free to grab a slice of cake. It's delicious. Don't mind if I do. Didn't mean to talk to you again. Blah, 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 blah. You're not supposed to be here. Yeah, I know. Are you a patient here at Moist in Private Asylum? There, there's nobody more moist than me. Yes. Hmm. Did you come? The pain and the flame subsides as Nightingale loses consciousness. She awakens in a strange bedroom within Moiston House, filling the dream. Holy crap. That girl's on fire, literally. Okay, that statue wasn't here before. Oh, that was the prologue. Okay. An old kitchen cleaver, generally used for hacking through thick cuts of meat. Four physical damage, eight physical. Okay. Use X to swing your weapon. Whoa. Strike the mannequin. Dodge back with B. So there's the grandfather clock with the keyhole in the front. Search the room for an exit, okay? Did it? Whoa! Never mind. We're fine. She's cool. You can't spook me like that, man. I got a cleaver. I'm terribly sorry if I frightened you just by appearing like that. Well, I mean, what do you expect? I like to observe new arrivals to make sure they're not violently deranged. De make sure that they're not violently deranged before allowing them out of their room. All right. I am Margaret Blackett, and I share administration of this asylum with my father, Dr. Robert Blackett. Your name is Nightingale, isn't it? Only the coolest name in the entire kingdom. Let me first deeply apologize to you for being set on fire as soon as you arrived. Yeah, that kind of sucked. I assure you, the responsible party has been severely reprimanded. I'm not familiar with your case history, but you may be wondering if it's all a delusion. So this is kind of like a Harry Potter, but way darker. I can assure you it is not. You've been drawn into a phenomenon used in the Moiston house. It's sort of a dream or a nightmare. Weeks will pass here during a single night in the real world. I'm sure you have questions. I'll answer as best as I'm able. Uh, How do I get out of here? The methodology for waking up from the dream is not well understood. Some wake with ease with only a vague memory of what occurred here. Others are trapped indefinitely, their comatose bodies slowly rotten in the real world. Dying in the dream provides no release, you're simply awakened anew. Okay. What kind of enemies we up against? As those trapped in the dream rot in the real world, they turn into deranged living corpses. Unfortunately, the dream accumulates more such unpleasant residents each year. As such, critical that you avoid attention until you're properly armed with tools to defend yourself. You're a tool! While dying in the dreams of temporary affair, the experience is still horrible, but you must be careful. 
Magic. In order to invisibly observe you earlier, I used a spirit twig. Simply snapping the twig in my hand, I'm able to briefly move out of what's called a phantom. In the real world, magic is the providence of charlatans. But remarkably, in the dream, magic is real. I'm a novice magic user. You'll want to use the filthy wretch to learn more. I can do it. I'll let you explore. The mansion reconfigures. The mansion reconfigures each night, but you should be able to find me in the study. All right. So it's random, like a roguelike. I'll leave you the key to this room and make my exit a different way. Nightingale. Don't be discouraged if you die. As you've already seen, it's only temporary. It's kind of like Elden Ring or Dark Souls. It sounds perverse, but death truly is the greatest t-shirt. See you around. Poof. Okay, bye-bye. I hope you make it. Take care. Love you. Find the filthy wretch in the occult library. The key can be found in one of the bedrooms. Meet Margaret in the study. You can view current quests in the notes by clicking the start button. Start. Very good. Hey, guys. We saw titties. Nice. Toggle minimap. Okay. You know what? Why are we hide? Let's get into some action. Let's slay. I hear somebody over here. What a face. What's up, Brandon? Good lord, that face! That's a, a famous either Greek or Roman emperor? But I can't remember his name. Don't come to life. I could have swore I heard my ass. We saw ass and titties tonight. Nice. Some more candles. I did hear somebody. How did you get in? I broke in. Key up! It didn't work! Key up! Ooh! I don't think you've realized how many hours of Elden Ring I've played, young lady. Ouch! Man, this chick's tough. I've given her bleed, so she's bleeding down right now. God! Or is that me bleeding? Blank piece of parchment, perfect for crafting a spell. All right. Is that what she had? No. She had red colored wax. Useful ingredient production of spells. All right. Empty jar, proper equipment can fill with various liquids. A corrupted finger? A filthy finger of a living corpse. So that chick thought she was the first witch. Take that, evil. This was an enemy called a maid. Charlotte didn't, let's see here. Her health is 35, poise, 20, bleeding tolerance. She was pretty tolerant to bleeding. Cool. Well, we killed Charlotte. Key up! What game was this? This game is called Withering Rooms. It is a side-scrolling Metroidvania survival horror Soulsborne game. Every single thing thing that that I just said gave me a fantasy boner and it's dark fantasy and it's a lot of fun so far it just came out a couple of days ago I don't know why more people aren't talking about it the game looks freaking gorgeous the story so far is really cool more red wax one of these statues gonna come to life also the mini map where are we we're right there I see it now well, we saw titties and ass, and now we just saw wieners, so a little bit for everybody. Also, I need to find some health. I'm not ready to go that far yet. Let's go back to the beginning of the mini-map and work our way room to room. So there's bedroom A. 
where we started. No, I don't think I went in there. Peaky weaky. Yeah, we we've not been in here yet. That's what you call a tip night right there. <laughs> All we need now is beer. We've had titties and dick and everything else. The cake you have refills your health. Very good, Andrew. We had a guide pop on our little adventure here. You're right. Even the music, like the menu music. What does that remind you of? I won't say anything. We'll see what you guys say. Hear the menu music? Listen. What does that sound like? I can't find the cake. Did I already eat the cake? Silent Hill. Yep. It sounds just like Silent Hill. I didn't need the cake. But I know I picked cake up. No cake for Papa. Okay, this scone will... <laughs> Who'd have thought pastries would save your life? It just gave my dad diabetes. Yum. Yum. I didn't mean to... Oh, the magic. Oh, shit! That hurt! What the heck? You've become slightly cursed. Yeah, it would seem that way. How do I hurt this dude? What the... How is he hitting me? <laughs> you dirty pianist! <laughs> Hey, more titties. Nice. This game's awesome. I wonder if he can't hurt me in the sunlight. <gasps> you dirty wiener! Okay, never mind. He can hurt me in the sunlight. I have no idea how to fight this dude. What's up, George? I was wondering what you meant by tip night. I thought maybe you want me to give you a tip. Yeah! The sun does hurt him. Come. Come. Fight me in the light. <laughs> Who is that? I can't. He's a ghost. Of course I can't hit him. Duh, Scotty. You have a cleaver. And that is a ghost. Try closing the curtain. I think I just can't hit him because he's a He's a ghost. Nice try, loser. Can I go in his mirror world? No. So, we're going to need to get a spell or... I can close the curtains. We're going to need to get a spell or something to hurt him. A gnarled magical twig. Some, somewhat hot to the touch. Snap it to become a spirit for five seconds. Spirits cannot be seen and are completely invulnerable. All right. I will completely forget that I had that and never remember to use it again. Okay. 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 I didn't mean to do that, but I can't get this menu to go off. How do I what now? Seven dollars from your dirty thoughts, P N C. From your dirty thoughts, your dirty thoughts, P dollars, and then zoom in there and send us from your dirty thoughts.
He called you a dirty thought and then said you were a turd. What'd you do to piss off the Biden bot? This looks pretty good. Is this on Steam? Yes, Brandon, but unfortunately, it's 30 bucks. But, uh, so far, I'm really enjoying it. You dirty thought, you turd. Also, did you see that picture move? And tribute. Our first tribute after the midnight hour. Thank you for that heroic deed, your dirty thoughts. Thank you for being my hero, you dirty thought, and you turd, according to the Biden bot. Thank you for that tribute, my friend. Oh, shit. He's got a gun. Hold still now. No, 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 no. Oh, God. Stop. Steady. Steady. Death. I, I rolled into that Silly one. Silly child. Hold still now. Help. I thought I had healing. I ate it by accident. Got you now. Perfect aim. Uh, How? Uh, darn it. And darn it. And darn it. Thank you very much, your dirty thought. I got a gift. A dummy spell summons a lifelike dummy of the caster, which will attract enemy attention until it's destroyed. That sounds pretty lame. Uh, lame and creepy. Okay, I found my cleaver again. The <laughs> chip. Let me sign that spell. The spell was a one-time use. You're kidding me. Oh my god, the spell is a one-time use. This game's complicated. Complicated in a good way, but still. I didn't know that I used my spell the one time. Oh well. Let's go kick some ass. Where are we? Oh no, everything randomly generates. That's right. Ah, oh, crap. Huh? I forgot everything randomly regenerates. Secret chest! Secret chest! Okay, that was a code. Seven... Oh, crap. Darkness fell upon Verona. Before the horror began, the city had seven philosophers, 13 bakers, and six sailors. Then two... You guys, you guys ready to do math? Then two sailors drove their knives into their chests. Next, each sailor devoured two bakers. What's up, Tucker? On the following day, two philosophers slit their wrists. If Verona, in Verona, only a few philosophers, bakers, and sailors remain. So, see, see. Two sailors cast knives into their chest. So that makes four sailors. And then, see here, four sailors. And then each sailor devoured each four four sailors. And then each sailor, so four times two is eight. So eight, 13 minus eight is five. So there's five bakers, four sailors, uh, and five. Five baker, five, five, four, and five. Yes, yes, five, four, and five. Or five, five, four, one of those two. Oh! 
Ah, yeah! Way to go, Cody! Easy peasy. Yeah, that was rough. This is the key to the occult library. To the occult. Yeah, I gotta be honest with you, champ. I didn't even see you sitting over here. Jesus, Jones. Ah! Whoa! Open. Okay, the combat's a little rough. We really been. Oh my God. I'm guaranteed when I go in to hit that I am going to get hit. <laughs> Nothing on the body? What was in the chest? What was in the chest? I don't remember. More crafting material. <laughs> Medic! That... <laughs> the enemy types in this game are... Fantastic. Combat's a little rough. We'll get used to it, though. I wonder if we can go ahead and combine some items together now. So, no. I bet you we gotta find, like, a crafting station or something. Clean up on aisle two? Shoo, buddy. I found a healing item. A holy candle. Gradually heals curse damage. The longer one stays close to it, the faster that it heals. Despi or dispel despises dispels nearby magical traps spirits and enchanted armor cannot pass while it burns well that all sounds great but which one which one takes care of that big giant gaping wound in the back of my thigh so we searched that room search all that key up who I wanna, is this now? Do I wanna, oh, she got a knife this time. Oh, uh. Every time! It's not worth it! <laughs> it's no, oh my god, the combat! <laughs> We're just gonna have to avoid fighting people for the first little bit, because it's just not worth trading blows right now. Maybe it'll get better. This is a safe place. The Night Mother remembers. We are her bricks and blood in her mortar. Nobody calls me a brick. Trying not to get stabbed by who is this guy at the ground is feet or... You want to trade? Ah, a new visitor to our dream. How exciting. I don't have a name. Oh, this is the filthy wretch we had to go visit. But most folks around here call me the filthy wretch. Well, what an awesome nickname to have. My nickname is Giant Wiener Blade Super Handsome Guy. I consider myself a tutor of sorts in the occult. You seem like you'd make a fine student. Why? Because I'm carrying a cleaver and I'm covered in other people's blood? You're right. Before we get started, I have one small request which you might find a bit mm, uh, off-putting. I'd like for you to bring me a corrupted finger, fleshly chip clip from one of the undead. I had one and I died. Now don't look so scandalized. You don't even know what it's for. I'd suggest targeting one of those sleeping zombies. Oh, that guy was sleeping and I blew it and I woke him up. The end result will be worth it. Uh, darn it. Okay. I did have one earlier. Darn it. A table for pressing wax. All right, well, let me get pressed. Never mind. No pressing wax for Papa Blades. So now we got to find a guy who's asleep. So much I know. I, oh, you didn't see anything. We gotta find somebody to sleep and chop them up real good. Also, we need food. 
A sconce for a weary adventurer? A hearty roll. How much healing does that give me? 25? That's not much. But it was delicious. This is the best part of the whole game right here. It's a ghost playing a piano, man. And he's going ham. I'm not even going to try it. We need to get a, some fingers first. First aid kit. Thank the good beans, man. Where was that earlier? All right, I hear her coming. This is a safe room. We're good. I didn't mean to do that. Ooh. A creepy doll. An unnerving yet harmless child's doll. Place to create a distraction or draw attention to something. That's some Adam's family music? Yeah. Hey, that's the hot chick who showed up unannounced in my bedroom. I was expecting to see you so soon. I believe you do well in the dream. Let me give you a little gift. It's an old ring of mine. If you die in the dream, you'll lose most of your items. We lost that cyber finger. But some blessed items like this ring will survive from night to night. Hell yeah. Put it on. This is a protective ring. An elegant ivory ring worn by Margaret Blackett. It gives you plus 10 max health. Holy crap! Put it on, baby! Good. Also, I'm carrying that dumb doll and not my cleaver. I want my cleaver back. Here we go. Hot chicks never late. They show up faster than they mean to. Bingo. A lot of reading. More twigs. More dolls. This whole game is just oozing with personality, man. Key up! Alright, you cleaver wielding bitch. Or not her, the other one. The, <laughs> the maid. I think we can take her now. And we're going to take her. We need that severed finger. <sighs> Scared the crap out of me. She got the drop on us. All right. How did you get in? I broke in. I farted. You did. Every time we're trading blows. I don't like it. Wrong way, precious. And the Oscar goes to, way to go. Give me that finger. Nope, we got a Galls. Heals any bleed and build up. Highly corrosive, but ineffective in its current form. So the sulfuric acid. All right. No fingers. Oh, I did get a finger. Let's, uh, let's go make an offer in here. He was in the occult library. Give it to me. <laughs> no! Excellent. I want to ask where you got it. Well, I mean, it's a person's finger. I chopped it off of a dead person's hand. Or alive. You know, whatever. Now, what I'd like you to do is eat 
the finger. Nope, 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 nope. What you do with a severed finger is your own business, none of mine, but I'm not eating it. Not, not in the business of eating fingers. I don't think so. Just kidding. Not cool. Not cool. JJK reference? Such body parts are a valuable commodity with many uses in the dream as in life. I have not seen Jujutsu Kaisen. You see the stone shrine in this room? A curious ancient thing. Place the finger in the basin to activate it. Then I will get my Jujutsu powers. It will help you remember items that I'm otherwise forgotten each night. Got it. This game is fire. Oh, Michelle, it's so freaking good. It's got cool enemies. It's got cool characters. It's got a cool protagonist. It's got a cool combat system. The items are interesting. The magic is awesome. You'll find shrines like these throughout the mansion. Just as no two people are alike, so are the shrines. Each one with their unique requirement. All right. Each new shrine you activate will allow you to remember one additional item. Return to me, people, once you have activated the shrine. Yup! The Night Mother remembers with her bricks and blood as mortar. There you go. I got a plus one remembrance slot. slot. Manage your remembered items? Sure. Uh, where? I want to remember where the first aid's at. I remember. <laughs> cool. Our next lesson will be the casting of spells. What are you going to do for the eclipse? So where I am at, up in the mountains, I'm pretty close to the sun. So I'm just going to go outside in my backyard and sit and watch. It, there's no artificial light where I'm at. There's no sound or noise. I'm just going to look up the sky and want to watch. Our next lesson will be the casting of spells. Ooh, behold, dog. <laughs> Try fingers, butthole. <laughs> You may be skeptical about the existence of magic in the real world, but there is no doubting its power in the dream. Hold this blue scroll. Focus the attention on the seal and imagine it breaking while you wave your hand over it. All right. The seal will break and the magic energies contained will consume the scroll and escape. The blue protection scroll is a protection spell given an invisible suit of armor. Oh, there is a price. I knew it. Every spell you can't just pull it willy nilly. There's a price. Use a magical cause one to become slightly cursed. The effects are numerous. Oh. Grain of the skin. An increased awareness of paranormal activity. Next, strange and horrific sights, previously hidden, will reveal themselves. Everyone has a tolerance for being cursed, which, if exceeds, leads to a rather rapid internal rotting. Internal rotting? In that case, use a warding candle to reduce your curiousness. All right. Enough prattle. Give that spell a try and see me when you're ready to learn more. All right. Uh, Kazaa! I feel protected now. You craft your own spells, you need a grimoire. Oh, cool. It so happens I have an extra beginner's grimoire. A beginner's grimoire. All right. You can use that table over there to create your spells. Very good. Here's a blank scroll. You also need to find some wax. I got some. Come see me when you're done. Making magic pancakes. Pancakes. Making magic pancakes. A pancakes. Making magic pancakes. A pancakes. Magic pancakes. All right. Uh, all I can make right now is a door hex spell. And a dummy spell. I kind of like the dummy spell. It was all right. Place a hex upon a door. Anybody who opens it will be engulfed in a cloud of cursed energy. The effect lingers for several seconds. The hex is only visible to its creator and can be dispelled. Eh. Uh, it does a lot of damage, though. What are the chances of getting somebody to actually run through that door, though? We'll try it. Oh, I made too many of them. I've taught you everything I can for now. You taught me how to... Okay. Whew. 
To continue your studies in the occult, you need to find the first witch in the basement. Here's the east stairwell key. Before heading down, you might talk to Margaret. She mentioned needing something from down there. Be one! That somebody has tampered with the gas pipes. All the lights are out. Oh, crap. And the basement is not somewhere you want to be without a light. Oh, crap. Cool magic! Alright, so we got two spells. Let's equip those. Put that there. And... We got the twigs. Very good. What else do we got to pick from? I need to use these warden can. Oh, wait. Oh, shit! No! I meant to assign those. Okay. There we go. Alright. That sucks. We need that to make the curse go away so we can cast more spells. I wonder how you save in this game. Hey, Maggie! I forgot about you. you scared the hell out of me. You creep. <laughs> forgot all about her. Are you a good guy? Okay. Healing item, poison antidote. Poison leaf, an entered in in I said the word in my head, now I can't say it out loud. Enter Indeterm indeterminate, indeterminate, an indeterminate toxic plant. Shoo. Okay. Indeterminate. Okay, this isn't the room with Maggie. I thought this room had Maggie in it. Maggie? Maggie? Oh, she's in the study, I think. There she is. Now she's acquired or acquainted with magic, I have a favor to ask. There's a powerful artifact in the moist mausoleum that may be the key to escape from the dream. The last person seen with the butcher, what the last person seen there was the butcher surgeon. He's a repugnant man my father hired to help with the research in the dream. I heard he has seen in the mausoleum recently searching for corpses to ana anatomize. They're using weird words. Anatomy, anatomize. He spends most of his time in the basement studying corpses in the kitchen. As you are much more able with magic than I am, you can venture down there and I can cast one spell, a dummy spell. Be careful, he's truly odious and an unpredictable man. These are weird words also. Have you taken a close look at the curio cabinet in the occult library? Lots of interesting updates in there. Okay, I didn't know there was a closet in the occult library. I'll go there now. If I was in the occult library and I had shit in the closet, where would I be? Closet? Closet? Right here. The guy was blocking it. There's a small passage under the cabinet crawl through. Yes. Who's this guy? Bait out attacks by dodging at the last second, then heavy attack to close the distance. Use a yellow dummy spell to create a distraction and attack from behind. Briefly hide under furniture to avoid projectiles. Cast a red hex on the door, then place a doll nearby to attract attention to it. Use sound of your advantage fireworks to gather all enemies. The so fireworks is good. Tailor the rings you wear to preferred combat style. Okay. You just stay in that cage, champ. I got a feeling it's gonna break out. Ring the bell. Hey, 
a permanent artifact. That's a brief window of invulnerability to your to your rolls. Describes an incantation to recite while dodging. It briefly transforms the caster into a spirit. Ooh. You have an equipable item now? All right. You can equip artifacts. Ooh, nice. It does give you curse damage the more you use it, but we'll be all right. That's an Iron Maiden, right? It's critical to initiate acts of the shrine. Am I the, am I the only person who have a hard time reading this crap? Otherwise, the night will be wasted. Successful training, the initiate should activate the mirror shrine. Pull the chain release to train an assistant. Okay. Activate the mirror shrine. Pull the chain to release the training assistant. Engage in combat. Okay. Pull the chain. It did say die and repeat, though. That was a good find. Very good. So long as you do not leave this room, death will return to you this moment. All right. Man, I'm glad that we didn't fight that guy. If we did that, we would die permanently. All right, here we go. Let's do some practice. He hits hard. Whoop! <laughs> Train and dummy my ass. So, whenever there's a there's a little bit of a delay when you roll, the the button combinations you'll push attack. When you roll and come up, you'll push attack and it'll keep you rolling. So I don't know if that's a problem on my end, on my controller input, or if that's the game. But whenever I roll and I push attack, it'll roll a second time. Wearing out mod. He's wearing out my protection spell. Ouch! <laughs> oh! We got him halfway down and he's bleeding. What if I can use spells with no consequences in here? Woo! Uh oh! Oh no 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 no! no. <laughs> that was an Iron Maiden. No maids. All right, this time we don't lose. This time we got it down pat. What's up, Ladarius? He hit me? These hitboxes, man. Ha, huh, what the heck? I do have first aid, I do, and I, I'm afraid that I'm gonna use it 
and it's I'm going to lose it. You know what I mean? I we gotta get a weapon with some range. I gotta remember that when he does that, I gotta hide, not try to dodge it. Now I just used both my healing effects, so help me. If I lost those, I'm gonna be really pissed. You've reached your curse tolerance, you're rot from the inside. Ah, I'll be all right. The rolling made me cursed. Alright, let's see if we lost our healing items. We didn't lose our healing items. Awesome. I swear he only hits me when I got my protection spell on. such a croc. For an acorn atom, I wish it was that Fucking hell! Good night. See you later. I got it. We freaking had him. I can't use the candle, and he was ah. The mimic spell? I think all I got is the door hex spell. Back on it, we had him. He was one hit. to be cursed. Do you mind if I put a candle down here? Thanks. I gotta put a candle down so I don't... Oh my. We came, we saw, we kicked his ass. 
Ooh, we got a corrupted heart. An enlarged heart of a living corpse. I'm sure the wretched guy will like that. And an old wooden shield. A decorative shield. Purportedly? Viking in origin. GG's! Can we put him in the Iron Maiden? Oh, that would have been cool. I wish we could have. Block 75% physical damage. Alright. That was a heavy zombie. Alright, alright. Alright. Ooh. That's good, man, because we were getting cursed doing all that rolling around there. Finger bangs all around. Don't forget, folks, as we go late into the night here, we're at the 1 a.m. mark. If you're not done so yet, don't forget to do the YouTube thing. Put your own fuel on the blade beacon. Make this broadcast stronger. Show the world there's hero work being done here. I'll leave a like on the stream. I'd like to put them in the Iron Maiden. That'd be cool. Still get used to the controls, though. We'll get it. That was really cool. That was a lot of fun. I enjoyed that. Good training. Oh, boy. We're hurting. And it used up all my healing. I'm not going to get mad. I'm not going to get mad. I lost all my healing. I'm not going to get mad. You'll be all right, man. I've got two. Two. Two hits in me, maybe. We got to find some more scones or something. You mad, bro? Oh, boy. Skill issue. I'm beyond mad. Probably should have peeked. Oh, shit. That's the dude with the gun. What to do? What to do? What the heck? What How'd is you... this place? I don't know. How'd you get out? Where am I? I guess they can get out of rooms. Blank scroll. Yeah. Not fair. Not fair and not cool. This sounds like the beginning of every 1980s Bon Jovi. Pull off the cover of the mirror? Sure. Mm. A sterling reproduction, wouldn't you say? Good. <laughs> Good evening. I'll introduce myself. But people don't generally wear masks. They don't want their identity to be known. That's true. I've been here for so long, I can scarce remember who I was previously anyway. No longer have the patience to beat back the ever-growing throngs of animated corpses in this house. As such, I have become something of a merchant. I traffic in all sorts of goods, and my inventory is always changing. What good is gold in this nightmare? That's true. A coin is a favor. Save for later. Let's see what you got, champ. Mm. My man here has got some bushes, which is good for making herbs. Like, oh. A simple wood splitting axe. A bit unwieldy, but will leave the recipient of its blow bleeding. Or we could go with the... Th no, not throwing knives, because I think once you throw it, it's gone, right? It can be picked up and thrown again. Okay. A gruesome severed head. The top of the skull has been sawed open. When removed, miasmatic vapors emerge. These words are hard. 
Plus 25 curse tolerance. That would be good. A blackened ring, thoroughly charred, and a fire. Looks like dragon skin. 50% less fire damage. 30% melee to damage attacks from behind. Hmm. Fireworks do fire damage. I'm kind of thinking the axe, chat. We're, we're going to go axe, I think. Oh, grandfather clock coin. That cost 10? Never mind. That cost 5. We'll buy the axe. And I think I said I needed some healing, right? That cost 5. God, that's really expensive. Really expensive. That's fine. Well, we're poor again. Well, we got a really cool axe, though. I'm going to end up trying it, and I'm going to end up painting it. I just know it. Oh, I can use the shield, too. Oh, badass. Ooh. Very good. It was kind of creepy how it felt you were watching a film and somebody stood up in front of you. Yeah. Hmm. The Rogue's Ring. Plus 30 damage to melee attacks from behind. Well, let's put it on. I can wear two rings at once. I can wear four rings. That's... I never could understand games that you play where you can only wear one ring per hand. You've got five fingers. I should be able to wear ten rings if I want to. Hell, I got a wiener. I can put a cock ring on there. I should be able to wear ten ring or eleven rings. Let's heal. Feeling better. Also, we got to find a place that makes more than blue spells. I like the blue protective spells. Uh, I think we make the... Oh, yeah, the dude with the guns this way. But I do. I want to make spells in the library, or is it the study? I can't remember where you where you make the spells. I think it's the library. It is. Protection spell. Give it to me. Love it. Cast it. Sex. Love it. Sex. Perfect. Toe ring? Yeah, I should be able to wear it. Let's see, how many toes do you have? Traditional people have 10 toes, so 10 plus 10 plus 1. I should be able to wear 21 rings if I want to. Why is my... curse going up so much. Have I been rolling? Oh, I cast a spell. That's right. Mm. <laughs> oh, shit! Pretty sure I just pooped my pants. Pretty sure I just pooped my pants. Alright, let's fight this, whatever this thing is. Maybe it's friendly. Not friendly. It's also gassy and stinky. Help! I got the stink! 
I need a candle. Can you stop? I can't keep. What the hell? to the wrong room. Poison antidote. What has hurt me? What in the crap? Is it the rot? Because I don't have nothing to fix the rot with. I don't have nothing to fix the rot with. Ah oh, man, we had so much stuff. <laughs> no. Okay, that thing sucks. Good grape ape escape. All my stuff, man. Ah, we just bought that axe. All that stuff that we had gone. We had so much stuff. A rusty kitchen knife. Wow. Man, we had so much stuff. That was wet. That's got to be a boss. <laughs> As, yeah, that was 100% a fart, and that's got to be a boss. Has to be a boss. I'm not understanding, though. There's got to be some more items I can use to stop me from getting cursed so fast. I'm getting cursed really fast. I can't walk past this piano player, he'll start killing me. I can't. Looks really cool with that candelabra on his head. Oh well. Or not candelabra, I was thinking a chandelier. Yeah, he's 100% farting. Because he's doing that gas attack that the, the other dude was killing me with. You're killing me, Smalls. 
Ain't got time to read. What did I get? There's Maggie May. Okay, this is a bad guy room. Once you kind of get the idea, you did. Let's try, let's try the knife. <laughs> I stabbed him right in the dick. Man, that really good. Oh, we, st we still have the ring of. <laughs> ah! Damn. Jesus! Come on! Well, apparently we we still have the ring that makes our dodges invisible. I thought we lost that. For our Alice's jar. Use for stopping the undead long enough to give them a good thrashing, okay? I thought we lost that ring. Oh, that's an artifact. Okay, this time we're going to sneak and kill. Everybody be very, very quiet. <coughs> Bullshit! I mean, that worked. I was hoping for like a really. Please hide. Please, please hide. Are you kidding me? Ow! I got more backstab damage. Cooter stab! We really need candles, man. Let's go make some spells. Nick Van Sy's coming through with a heroic show of support in the late hours of tonight's adventure with the five bones. Thank you so much, Nick. Tribute has been made. For the almighty blade master himself, Nick Van Sice. Thank you, my friend. Tribute! Thank you for supporting the League of Blades, and thank you. For that heroic deed. I gotta make some spells. Where's... Oh. We haven't found the occult library yet. I have no idea what happens if I kill that person. Oh, it's a doll. Oh. No idea if that's going to get me in trouble, but... It is what it is. I don't mess with the gun guy. 25 health plus 5 speed. Still drinkable despite being odd flakes and clumps on the surface. Ooh. Okay, here's the occult library. Let's make a protection spell. I can make those candles, the warden candles. Okay. All right, we got the protection spell on us. We need to use that candle. Put the candle down. Get the curse off of us. What a cool mechanic. What a cool game. You got you kill the doll, you got seven days to throw it down a well. 
Alright, cool. I didn't mean to do that. Another warden candle. Fantastic. I don't want to go that way. Blank scroll. This is a safe room. Is that the same dude? Yeah, same dude. Small cursed snuff box. A small snuff box plus one curse damage per second to the wearer. Then why would I wear it? I don't want to be cursed. What's going on there, Maymox? Happy Sunday night to you. Welcome to the show. Glad you can join our little adventure. You're just in time for a whole bunch of boobs, apparently. But the biggest boob here is this guy. Squirt. Some yellow wax. I haven't used those spirit twigs at all. I wonder if they're any good or not. Ooh, this guy. You know what? I'm cool. I'm not going to square off with that guy. I'm good. Christmas ghost robe. A light ragged robe representing the ghost of Christmas yet to come. Ooh. Purchased by Maggie. The costume worth perfect. Let's see here. We've received 50% less curse rot damage and 15% less curse damage. Let's put it on. Whoa. Our first outfit in the game. You gained one remembrance slot. I want to remember where... Uh, what's something important that we need? I like that melee ring. Let's remember that. Plus 100% melee damage? Hell yeah. We all think good guy, bad guy? I swear the church was this way, but there's only a well. Wall. Do forgive me. Sometimes I forget that I am in the this damnable shadow world rather than the real one. That's right, man. You're in the shadows. Three likes away from 80, people. We're going well into the night. You guys have stuck it out. I'm proud of you. We don't normally go this late. The night blade's holding strong. I am the Vicar of St. Eli, the nearest parish church. Your insomnia thanks you. You're welcome, man. At least I used to be nearby. It feels like it's been so long since I've seen it. This game is pretty interesting. I'm enjoying it. The game is fantastic. Different. Oh, yeah. These are the blades that stick it out. And they appreciate the gamer's games. This right here is a fantasy gamer's game. This is Pete Fantasy Gaming. You've been in the house recently. Positively reeking with evil, isn't it? Well, it was. I've killed a lot of them. I mean, I did come out here drenched in a... What is it? What is it? A raincoat covered in blood? As a warrior of Christ, I had once thought to save the poor souls in there. Now I only wish to escape. You may think it cowardly, but spend a few more nights here and you'll see. Give me your lamp. I see you staring at my lamp. I'd be happy to give it to you. I need it. But I need proof that you're a valiant warrior of Christ and not to leave the foul beast in that house. Bring me the corrupted heart. Hey, oh no, I died! And I lost the heart. Ah, oh, crap! All right, man, I'll be back. 
the big dude had a heart on him. And I had a heart on. The big dude had a heart on him. And then we died and lost it. So now I gotta go back and fight that guy again. Shit. With my tiny knife. What room was he in? The occult library, I think. Alright man, round two. With my tiny knife. nothing for him. It's going to be just straight up combat. I don't think I even have a a warding warding candle to get this curse off of me. <laughs> I'm just shipping the shit out of him. Small knife. It does. It does decent damage, considering. I am lit up in that mirror, right? Nah, I always right. You know how when you play like Elden Ring and Dark Souls, and you you kind of know how a fight goes, and you're in a hurry, so you don't play as good as you normally do because you're in a hurry. I'm time right now with this fight. I know how to beat him, but I'm kind of in a hurry because I got. I've already done this before. I can hide in this. I closed a lot of distance. He's fast for a big guy. Hide! bleed damage right now? He does. The knife does a lot more bleed damage. He's bleeding like hell right now. Well, he was. And, of course, he hit me.
He didn't have a heart on him. Why did he not have a heart on him? Oh, he did. He did. He did. Well, hello, Jim. I was rooting for you. We were all rooting for I you. How dare you? I tried. Learn something from this. Uh, I will learn. What I'm going to do next time is take the knife and duct tape it to a stick and then go poking. But we got him. We came, we saw, we kicked his ass, we got him. Was Papa asking why he didn't have a hard on? Yeah. I couldn't figure out why I wasn't hard right now. I'm, I'm playing my favorite kind of game with my favorite kind of people and my favorite kind of place. Why am I not hard right now? <laughs> As he screams at his wiener, Why am I not hard? You have a hard on watching this game. Well, this is a gamer's game. This is a gamer's game. This is a fantasy gamer's game right here. It's artsy. It's unique. It's indie. It's cool. It's fun. I want that lamp. Take my corrupted heart. And the music. The music. Best part of the game so far is music. Excellent. You're indeed worthy. Use it well. Thank you. All right, how do I use the lamp? Oh, I bet you I do. There we go. Does it run on oil? I don't know. Where am I? Uh, I'm not seeing a show up on the mini map up there. Oh, I'm on the. I'm on the top. No, that's the moon. Critical, spirit twigs, warding candles. Useful camera and dry photographic plate, a Bible, a cursed explorer's ring, a ring of perception. I don't think I have any of that stuff. I definitely don't want to go into this. May I, I went in? Is there something on fire? Oh my god! What am I supposed to do with that? Push push it, push it, push it, push it, push it, push it. Yeah, he'll never find me behind this giant. Bullshit. Help. Hiding is dumb. I think that hurt me more than it. I think that hurt me more than it hurt him because he's on fire. <laughs> My controller's vibrating and I don't know why. Oh, I'm getting cursed again. <laughs> Gotta stop doing that. Got to lay down a candle. Alright, let's lay down a candle. Can I just have a minute? <laughs> I just need a minute. <laughs> Gee, Grimpus. What is this thing? I'm pretty sure I can't kill that guy. I got a protective ring. And another protective ring. I'm glad that guy is happy. Apparently no, yeah, no kidding. All right, we got a couple of new rings to put on here. Uh, this one gives me max health. And that one gives me less poison buildup. Right, we're maxed out on rings now, which is pretty cool. Such a hot head, we gotta douse them out. Oh, 
Also, somehow I'm already... Oh, that's cursing. Is that cursing me? Yep, that's cursing me. Oh, so much curses. So much curses. Okay. Now that was a trip. You can tell me what the flame would do. Thanks a lot, guy. Alright, this is where Mar Maggie wanted us to go. We need to heal. Well, no, we're good on healing. We do need a candle, though. I got one. Sweet Millie, dead girl. I still remember the trick. Open and close any door three times, then step through to the wrong room. I went to the wrong room earlier. It killed me. Of course I can't see. I don't have a light in there. I definitely don't want to go to the wrong room. I hear somebody. None of my business. This room is safe. There's a dude in a cage. Maybe it's not as safe as I thought it was. What's up, champ? And his dog. I know what you're thinking. <laughs> I, just, I ain't thinking anything. Why would this gentleman and his dog be locked up if they hadn't done anything nefarious? Surely this man murdered somebody as his great beast of a dog dragged the body into a lake. Well, that sounds oddly specific. Well, I can assure you, you are merely the victim of a cruel job. Cruel job. My name is Felix. This is my noble hound, Horace. If you'd be so kind as to fetch the rusty cage key, I'm sure we can be of some great use to you. I don't trust you. I don't trust you. You got a very... Hatches, Dark Souls, want to betray me, Phil. A coin purse, which is a permanent treasure. A cloth coin purse dyed red with blood and powdered organs. God! Normally all possessions are lost upon death in the dream, but this purse will safely preserve ten coins. Ooh. I'll take it. Give me my ten coins. Give me that filet of fish. Give me that fish. Give me other filet of fish. Give me that fish. There's a guy there. Not me though. The music is so Silent Hill, man. I got a tool. A nondescript remains of something porcelain. Can be thrown to create a distraction. Oh, okay. I don't do distractions. I'm an honorable fighter. 5% chance of having damage received. What kind of rings am I wearing? It says I'm wearing four. I got the melee ring. Plus 10 max health, plus 15 max out. We're not taking any of the max health rings off. That's keeping my ass alive. Now, I remember there was somebody in here earlier. Firework? Let's use it. I won't know how to use it. We'll find out. Man, my feet are loud. Who the hell walks like that? Curiously, there's no handle. Okay. A pipe. Whoa, that does so much more weapon damage than my knife. But it doesn't do bleed, though. I like the bleed. We're getting so much shit. We're going to lose it all. I don't know why it matters. I wonder how you save this game. Oh, save and exit. Okay. 
Y'all ready? Gandalf says hi, bitch. Okay. Ah! It didn't do anything. Oh, I hear somebody else in here, too. We might be in trouble. Oh, she just barked all over that dude. Help! Somebody else in here? How many people are in here? Help! <laughs> oh, Jesus. There's numbers, chat. Don't forget the numbers. I saw the number zero somewhere. In this room, and the other room had four. I think we can take this guy. I lied. <laughs> Woo! Ah! <gasps> uh. Help! Is this a safe place? Your body's too weak to activate the shrine. Purge your body of negative effects and heal yourself. All right. It's a trap. It's a 100 if I say it's a trap. Let's drink some coffee. You're going to call that move the Jack Reacher? <laughs> Inspect. Light the candle. Okay. So apparently as long as I don't leave this room, I can't die. I didn't actually read the instructions. But you get the idea. Wait a second. Didn't we come down here to square off, I guess, a guy named the Butcher? Ah, you must be the new boy. Just so you're aware, the last boy died of sepsis. You know what's really creepy? That the dude's down here working in the absolute pitch black. He did not listen carefully to my instructions. I need you to find a way to get these cursed lights working again. It's too dark. The gas must be shut off in the boiler room. All right. Ding dong. There's got to be a big giant fight. Ooh. Glory hole in the wall. Hmm. They're all dead. Who said that? I'll kill you. A new friend. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> ah, she does a lot of magic and I don't know shit. <laughs> nice try. I'm cursed. <laughs> Good grapes. The lock is broken. Great. All right. Oh, shut that shit up, bitch! Shut it up! Woo! I think I'll work. No! severed finger of a human so she wasn't rotten or a zombie she was an initiate <clears throat> no 
It wasn't easy. See the trajectory of throwable items by aiming right trigger. Right trigger. Mm -mm. Oh, hold. Okay. Yeah. I need my pipe. That pipe didn't do bad. We got so many items, man. I'm so I'm so afraid to lose everything we've we've gotten so far. The farting dude's room. Let's go. I'll eat it now. Good way to get somebody to run from a fight. Alright, the lock is broken. Where are we? Use a candle? Oh, yeah. What's up, Sean Ake? Good call, Brandon. What did we do by accident? We healed the mirror. I don't know what that means, but... Huh. Um... I love the menu music. If I save and exit... Does that... Do I lose all of my progress? Save the game and return to the title screen. Okay. It doesn't say I lose it. No, it says continue. All right. We're good. Shoe. Shoe and buddy. Very good. Very good. Folks, that game's called Withering Rooms. If you want to pick it up and play it yourself, this game's available on Steam. You too can go on your own adventure. I highly, 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 highly recommend this game. The music's great. The story is great. The characters are good, mysterious, and fun. Like Elden Ring or Dark Souls or any stuff like that. Highly recommend this game. We will be playing it again tomorrow. Tomorrow night. We'll be right back here in Boomtown. In the Wandering Blades Tavern. Slaying monsters. Kicking some evil ass. Oh man, we couldn't get two more likes. I thought we got our likes. That's all. Right. Also, I think it's the latest we've streamed in a long time. Two o'clock in the morning. Not bad. Not bad. GG's. I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Tell the Sandman I said hi. Goodbye, everybody. I'm back. <laughs>